see this and it'll tell you your uh, okay. 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 So.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Panther Stadium here, Gerald Kemp Field at Medina Valley High School, where the Panthers getting ready to take on the South Sand Bobcats as we start the second round of district play. The Panthers went undefeated in the first round, 6-0 and in district play, 7-0 and in district play, and in first place, and South Sand down toward the bottom of the district, still looking for a playoff spot, but it looks like they're 3-4 and four in district play. Only a game behind McCullum and Harlan. So right now, Harlan Medina Valley's Valley is yeah. in first place with a perfect seven and zero record. Southwest sits at five and two. Eagle Pass win is four and three, along with McCullum and Harlandale is holding on to that last spot with a three and four record. Actually, they're trying to get into the, that fourth yeah. spot with a three and four record, and they're tied us here. The South Sand Bobcats are here tonight yep. visiting Panther Stadium. So South Sand playing for a playoff spot, really, in Medina Valley looking for a district championship and looking to stay undefeated. The Medina Valley won the first meeting between these two teams, two to nothing at South Sand. And uh, I look forward to a good game here tonight. Jaden Krieger will be on the hill for the Panthers. He's pitched well for Medina Valley this year. Um, always good to see him out there. He throws strikes. He kind of got off to a shaky start against Southside last week when we saw that game. Um, a couple of errors in the field behind him. He had some base runners on. He gave up a couple of runs, and then he settled down nicely into that game as it went on. And, Jarek, in that, that first half of district play, Medina Valley had 54 runs scored, and the opposing teams only scored seven in district play. So the, wow. they, their offensive – power is there they score a lot of runs and the defense has been holding tough only allowing seven runs in on the against them in the first half of district play now this is again like you said this is a second round be first game of the second round then the first time they played these south sand bobcats they medina valley won two to zero but that was the first game of the year and since then bobcats have been playing a little bit better baseball and They've won the last two in a row in district play, so they're they're looking. To, it's looking to be a tough game here, and South Sands going to be looking to advance that that opening loss for both teams. Yeah, umpires out to get the lineup cards and go over the ground rules here, and we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back to give you the the lineups. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by North Park Chevrolet and by Dotson House Moving and Construction, and we'll continue in just a moment. Dotson House Moving and Construction is a fourth generation company operated by the same family for over 75 years. We do turnkey work from moving your structure, setting the foundation, and all your construction needs. Aluminum decking, concrete work, canopies, and any other need to make your project operational. From moving to construction, large or small, Dotson House Moving and Construction does it all. Located at 12 939 Southwest Loop 410 in San Antonio. Give us a call at 210-628-1459. Right now at Chevrolet's three-time dealer of the year, North Park Chevrolet. Get 15000 off MSRP and 1.9% financing on new Silverado 1500 trucks, plus $2,250 in trade assistance cash, and 7000 off MSRP on new Blazers. Lease a new Equinox for $299 with zero down or buy for $23,999. Get 2.1% financing on all new Traverses. Find new roads at North Park Chevrolet. Ten minutes outside Loop 410 in Castroville or at NPChevy.com. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. Welcome back here to Medina Valley as we're getting ready for South Sand taking on the Panthers and we'll give you the starting lineups and we'll start with the visiting Bobcats from South Sand and they'll lead it off with the third baseman Ernest Garcia. The shortstop Julian Hernandez will bat second. Batting third Marcus Estrada playing second base. The cleanup hitter tonight is the right fielder Josiah Ketterman. The pitcher Matthew Reyna will bat fifth. Six hitters the center fielder Marcus Kella. Alex Rodriguez will catch and bat seventh. Batting the eight hitters, the first baseman, Roland Basildua, and the nine hitter, Alex 
Rayman will play left field. And so for South Sand, their top three, Garcia third, Hernandez short, Estrada second. Middle three, Caraman right, Reina pitching, Kella in center. And the bottom three, Rodriguez catching, Basil Dua first base, and Raman in left field. For the home, Medina Valley Panthers and Coach Bobby Herb, they will lead it off with their second baseman, Dusty Davis. Third baseman, Wesley Stevens, will bat second. Manny Ramirez will play right field and bat third. The cleanup hitters, the pitcher, Jaden Krieger. J.D. Blair will catch and bat fifth. The shortstop, Michael Newton, will bat sixth. The seven hitter tonight's Ryan Marty playing first base. The left fielder, Noah Gavidel, will play left field. And the center fielder is Gavin Ripps batting ninth. So for the Panthers, their top three, Davis second, Stevens third, Ramirez right. Middle three, Krieger on the hill, Blair catching, Newton short. And the bottom three, Marty at first, Gavidel in left, and Ripps in center field. Those are the starting lineups tonight. And we are ready to get this ball game going. Panthers in their home white jerseys with white pants, black caps, white letter Panthers, and the black bar across the front. South Sand in their royal blue jerseys, gray pants, and the blue hat. And we're going to take a break for the national anthem. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in just a moment. Wrecked and abandoned vehicles. I can even come to your location and tow it out of there at no extra charge. Give me a call at 210-777-0585 and I'll be sure to get you taken care of quickly. Are you ready for a vacation? Tanya with Travel by Design can help you with all your vacation destination needs. At no cost to you, she can plan all of the details tailored to your unique wants and needs. So all you have to do is enjoy your vacation. Tanya is a certified expert with Disney Universal Orlando and California, Sandals, and all cruise lines. Give Tanya a call at 830-931-4834 or visit her Facebook page, Tanya with Travel by Design, for all the latest specials and must-do vacations. There's power in the simplest of actions. Like one neighbor helping another. Where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything at Medina Electric Cooperative, and we're grateful for your trust. To provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Welcome back here to Panther Stadium as we're ready to get this ball game started. As Jaden Krieger warms it up to his battery mate, J.D. Blair. Right side of the Panther infield, Ryan Marty and Dusty Davis. On the left side, Michael Newton and Wesley Stevens. Into the Medina Valley outfield, Gavin Rips is in center. Flanked in right by Manny Ramirez and in left by Noah Gavidel. For South Sand. Their top three, Ernest Garcia, Julian Hernandez, Marcus Estrada, all due up here to get this ball game going. And Krieger, a right-handed pitcher, he's been very good this year. We'll see if he can get this ball game started. One, two, three, and get his team into the dugout, and see if he can settle into this game quickly. Sun's going down on, in left field. Um, sometimes that sun is a real bother to the first baseman, but these later start times have really help that out because instead of starting these games at seven like we used to and that sun was right in the first baseman's eyes for about two innings, now it's pretty much down. Yeah, the only thing we have to worry about tonight, Jared, is going to cool off quickly. Yep. It's already, you know, we've already put, I've already put another jacket on because it's starting to cool off. Beautiful day today. It's already dropping probably in the 60s already. So it's going to be cool. I expect it to be, what, in the 40s in the morning, I yep. believe. So Clouds are going to start rolling in. You can already see them over center field where the flag is blowing from right field to left field. Yeah. And we got a great night for baseball. Yeah, wind's blowing out to left center right now, really helping out right-handed hitters. As Ernest Garcia will step in, a right-handed batter against Krieger to start the ball game. And Krieger's first pitch 
is a strike called at the knees, nothing in one to start. Kruger's been a great pitcher for the Panthers, a typical Tuesday pitcher. Been doing a great, lasting deep into the game, all the games that we've watched him play. Yeah, he pitched six strong innings against Southside last week. Michael Newton came on and finished that ball game off. 0-1 on the way. Curveball in the dirt outside. 1-1. One one. Magallanes had a great outing last Friday with five innings pitched, only allowing one hit and one earned run and striking out eight. So they've got a good pitching staff here. Curveball called strike. That was actually a slider, and it had a sharp bend to it. That was a good-looking pitch right there. One ball, two strikes. Pitch on the way to Garcia, and he swings and bounces one foul up the third baseline. Kind of took a chop at a high pitch that time. That was a high heater. And he, he got out in front of it. He did. That's he a, turned on it all right, just hit a foul. Still one and two to Garcia to start things off. And that pitch is outside and goes to the backstop. It'll be two and two. So two and two to the leadoff batter, Garcia. Julian Hernandez waiting on deck for Southside. Pitch on the way. Curveball swung on, popped up on the infield. Shortstop Newton in the grass, makes the catch, and there's one away here to start the ball game. Krieger throwing a lot of strikes, had him, had him popping up there for the easy first out of the game. That'll bring up Julian Hernandez. Nobody on, one out, the shortstop for the Bobcats. The right-hand hitter will stand in here. Good thing about Krieger is that he's going to throw strikes. He's going to make you swing the bat. Can't expect to get a walk on Krieger. Doesn't allow many people on base walking him. No, he doesn't give many free passes. Pitch on the way is a slider called strike. Over that outside corner, and it's nothing in one. That pitch is very deceptive. Look, it's coming as a fastball, and it slides across the plate. Yeah, he's got a sharp break on it tonight, and there's a fastball that just missed off the outside corner. Tried to bring that two-seamer back on the back door of the plate that time and just didn't get the call. 1-1 one, one on the way. Swings and bounces it foul back to the screen, and it's one ball, two strikes on Hernandez. And Jared, for a chilly evening, we got a pretty good house. Yeah, big Here, crowd. It's, there's a decent-sized crowd, and the outfield is packed right now with the tailgaters. Like always. Outfield's always packed Yep. Here. One, two on the way. Oh, he threw it behind him. Wow. You don't see Krieger do that much. No, and that was a curveball that did, did got away from him. But if I'm Hernandez, I just throw the backside out there and let it, let it peg me. 2-2 two, two on the way. Called strike three over the outside corner. He froze him with a fastball. First strike out from Krieger in the ball game, and there are two away. And it'll bring up Marcus Estrada. Nobody on two down here in the top of the first. Krieger's first pitch is a swing and a miss. On a good breaking ball over the outside corner, and it's nothing in one. Oh, one's in the dirt. A ball and a strike. Not many left-handers in this district. You know, Jared, we've seen quite a few games now, and there has not been many. Called strike inside corner. There's that sharp breaking, breaking pitch that Krieger's been thrown tonight. Good looking pitch. Talking about left handed bats or left handed yeah. pitchers? Batters. There's a swing and a foul back to the screen. And we'll do it again at one and two. No, we don't see many of them in this district. You're right. And the ones that we do see are more contact hitters, people, guys who are going to put the ball in play. You don't see a lot of power hitters no. in this district. Just missed off the outside corner with that fastball, and it's two and two. Two, two on the way. Down below a ball, three and two. Just below the knees. I mean, he's Good right location. there. Great he's, location. He's living on the edge right there and just not getting those calls. Ready for the payoff, the three, two on the way. Ooh, that's just another board line. inside. Krieger's shaking his head, can't believe it. And, and Krieger's. He's really good at spotting his pitches. He will not give up the one right down the middle. If the umpire is liking the way he throws, he gets a lot of calls. 
Guess what? We got a left-handed batter, Jared. The cleanup batter is a Clean left-handed batter. Josiah Caraman. He's got a runner at first with two away. He stands up on top of the plate here. Stands straight away as Krieger comes set from the stretch. Kicks and delivers. And there's a strike called over the outside corner, and it's nothing in one. Huge secondary lead by Estrada over in first base. Let's see if they try to run him. Waiting on the 0-1. Krieger comes set. 0-1 pitch is a called strike again. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, and it's nothing in two. Left-hander waits. Krieger's 0-2, runner goes. Swing and a foul back out of play over to the left side. And we'll do it again at nothing in two as Estrada will have to go back to first. Yeah, it was just a matter of time before Estrada ran because he was getting huge secondary leads along with his primary lead. Krieger ready. 0-2 on the way. Swings and hits one high in the air to center. Rips coming in, and that's going to drop in front of him for a base hit. Estrada goes first to third, and that allows the runner, Karaman, to go first to second on the throw to third. He lost that ball. Yeah, no, he did. He, he took his steps to the left before coming yeah. in and then found it. I wonder if he lost it in the lights. No, in this this twilight time, it's tough to see the ball. And it, I don't For whatever this this stadium, it's tough to see a fly ball this time of the, of the night. He took a cup two. I watched him. He took two, three steps. He backpedaled before coming up, and he had to come up hard, and there was just no way to get to that ball. I think Good. he lost it off the bat. Well, now they're second and third with two outs after the single. There's a swing and a line drive to left. Left fielder back, and that's over his head and going to one-hop off the wall. They're going to get two runs out of it. Gavidel getting it back into the cutoff, man, but a two-run two double for Matthew Reyna. And it's two to nothing in all of this after two outs, and the umpire didn't give him the call. Now, they, they probably were balls, but he was living on the edge. And Krieger was frustrated with the calls, didn't get them, and you had walk, single, double. Yep. It felt like he knew that he had to come down the middle now because he wasn't getting the calls, and they took advantage of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when you feel like you're getting squeezed, you feel like you have to be perfect, and that's that's when things like this happen. And Gavidel giving chase to that, but that was a well-hit ball. Yeah. No, he, he went back immediately. Yep. The ball was just hit too hard over his head. That'll bring up Marcus Kella. Runner at second now, pitch on the way, swing and a miss at a high fastball. Just the first within the one. first two outs of this game, they've already equaled the scoring that they did the first game against the Panthers. Ready for the 0-1. Pitch on the way, inside a ball. A lot of pitches thrown already in the inning by Krieger now. He got a pop out and a strikeout to start the inning quickly and then a walk, a single, and a two-run double. Here's the 1-1. Fouls it over to the right side near the South Sand dugout. And it's not one and two. He swung way late on that ball. Yeah. Runner at second, takes his lead. Ready for the one, two, here it comes. Swings and fouls it again. Almost in the same exact spot, swinging way late. Line drives right over to the South Sand dugout. Yeah, he threw him a high heater that time and he just got enough of it to shoot it over to the dugout. It's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of is that high fastball up around your eyes. One, two on the way. Started after it, laid off in time. It breaks out of the zone. It's two and two. If I'm Krieger, I climb the ladder with him here. I'd keep going up with that fastball because he wants to swing at it. 
And if you just keep throwing it a little higher each time, eventually he's going to miss. 2-2 Two -two on the way. Swings and fouls it out of play again. He tried the fastball up. Next pitch will be number 30 in this first inning. So he's thrown two innings worth of pitches here, and we're not out of the first yet. Ready for the 2-2, two -two. here it comes. Called strike three on a pitch that got called a ball earlier. He sure did, right at that, the knees. And so second strike out for Krieger, but the damage is done. They get two runs on two hits and they leave one on base. And so we'll go to the bottom of the first, two to nothing South Sand. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by Dotson House, moving in construction. And we'll continue in just a moment. Bush's Chicken, one of the oldest locations in Castroville, is proud to serve the Medina Valley area. Bush's Chicken has one goal, be the best. Bush's Chicken knows its success comes from loyal customers in the communities they serve. Stop by Bush's Chicken on Tuesday and get the Tinder Tuesday deal or try their buffalo fries and ask about their Panther special. It's always a hit. Bush's Chicken, 935 Highway 90 East in Castroville. Call them at 830-538-2800. Texas, 268,000 square miles and then some. Twice as much elbow room as California. There's just no place like Texas. And you can take that to the bank. Texan Bank, poised and ready for a future that's wide open. Member FDIC. Welcome back here to Medina Valley as we go to the bottom of the first inning and Matthew Reyna warming it up to his battery mate tonight, Alex Rodriguez. Right side of the infield, Roland Basildua and Marcus Estrada. On the left side, Julian Hernandez and Ernest Garcia. Into the Bobcat outfield, it's Marcus Kella in center. Flanked in right by Josiah Karaman and in left by Alex Raman. For the Panthers, it'll be Davis, Stevens, and Ramirez due up here trying to answer back. And we're ready to get going here. The Panthers gave up two runs in that first inning. Krieger got two quick outs and then a walk. Number 10, Where he had him 0-2, he kind of got squeezed, didn't get some calls that he thought he should have got. Two out walk and then a single and a double that drove in a pair of runs and it's two to nothing. So Davis to face Reyna. Right hand pitcher's first offering is a strike on the outside corner. A nice two seam fastball. Yeah, I got some movement on that fastball. A lot of downward sink on it. 0-1 oh, on the way. There's a swing and a foul up the right side first baseman made a good effort at it just couldn't get to it yeah that's Bozaldua who made a great effort diving to his left to try to get that ball in the, in the coaching box down the first base line almost got to it would have no, been a heck of a play nothing in two to Davis Reyna into the wind up here comes the 0-2 Curveball that stays up, one and two. And he'll have a one, two coming up here into the windup. Pitch on the way is swung on in line to first, or to second rather. Second baseman makes the play for the out. And so Davis lines out to second. Notice Jared, the catcher getting the signs from his umpire, I mean umpire, from his coach in the dugout. And then relay him to the pitcher. Last game against Eagle Pass, they had a, actually a headset on. They had an earpiece on the catcher. So the coach was actually relaying the, the pitches, the signs to him over 
over the air there, and then he'd relay them to the pitcher. But first time I've seen earpieces being used in high school baseball. Wow. This will be Wesley Stevens, third baseman for the Panthers. Nobody on one out here in the first. Reina's pitch is on the way. And a curveball that he breaks off in there for a strike. Nice yeah, pitch by He's Reyna. got a good curveball. He's got a very deliberate windup, kind of slow to the plate. Yeah, both these batters so far have backed out of there on that curveball. Starts out at their shoulders. 0-1 oh, on the way. There's a strike called on a fastball to the outside corner, and it's nothing in two. Yeah, he's going to see that curveball again here real quick. Well, and if he's throwing it for strikes, he can keep these hitters yep. off balance pretty well with that. 0-2 oh, on the way. Curveball just missed. Stayed up a little high. Rodriguez, the catcher, was ready yeah. to throw down to third. Yeah, he was. It was a little high. He skipped out from behind the plate, ready to make that throw. Ready for the 1-2. Reyna kicks and brings it. That's in the dirt outside. Try that little sweeping breaking ball there, and it's two and two. You know that that twelve to six curve that he throws has a very sharp downward break on it. That what he just threw had a little more of a sweeping yep. action to it. Two different pitches. Ready for the two two, quick delivery home, and he fouls it out of play. Reina changing up his delivery a little bit there, kind of quick stepping it to the plate. Two two on the way, swings and grounds one through the left side. Shortstop dives at it, goes off his glove, and that's going to be a single for Stevens. Didn't hit it that well, but he hit it in the right spot. Yep, hit it in the right spot. It was between third and shortstop. Shortstop got a, his webbing on it, the edge of his glove came out of his glove, but he was diving for the ball, so it's an easy base hit on the yeah. record books. Well, he, you know, if he makes the play, he's in the outfield grass. He yep. doesn't get no, up and make it, the throw. Yeah, you don't make it. There's no way. Too much speed there to get to first. And that'll bring up Manny Ramirez. Ramirez with a runner at first and one away. We're in the bottom of the first inning. It's two to nothing, South Sand. Ramirez has been hitting the ball well lately. One for two last game. Pitch on the way. Swings and hits one high in the air down the right field line. That is going to drop foul. It gets out of play, and it'll be nothing in one. Yeah, Ramirez last game one for two and scored a run. Close game last Friday. Four, only four to two was four to one was the score. One of the closest games that the Panthers have had all season in district play. Other than the two zero game against the Bobcats here. Waiting on the 0-1. Pitch to Ramirez, curveball swung and lined into right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Good job by the center fielder to get that in quickly as Stevens has to stay at second base. But back-to-back -back singles with one out, and the Panthers have runners at first and second now for the cleanup hitter, Jaden Krieger. It's a good piece of hitting by Ramirez. That was actually a breaking ball that he got a piece of and just flung it out there over second base for a nice base hit. Krieger with a chance to help his own cause here now. Got runners at first and second with one away. Reyna trying to navigate through this first inning. His team spotted him a two-run lead. Pitch on the way. Inside a ball, 1-0. Umpire wanted to call that. He moved like he was going to call a strike and backed away from it. It's just inside. Reyna comes set at the belt. Kicks and delivers. Curveball called strike. A ball and a strike now to Krieger. One one. Reina checks the runner at second. Here's the pitch. Swings and hits one on the ground. That's going to go into left field for a base hit. Stevens around third. Here comes the throw from left. It's going to be not in time. An RBI single for Krieger makes it 2-1 to one, South Sand. 
and the Panthers still with runners at first and second and one away. Great hit there by, by Krieger. Sent the ball just humming by the third baseman there for a base hit. Three straight singles. Yes. And it's two to one now, and that'll bring up the catcher, J.D. Blair. Blair had a good game against Southside last week, went three for three in that ball game. Blair, a right-hander, will stand in. We get a we get a courtesy runner for the pitcher over at first base. Yeah, that's going to be Brady Prukop, I believe. Uh, let me see what number is that. I don't know. I can get his I number. No, it's Brody Rips, I believe. Yeah, that's who usually runs yeah. for him. First and second, still one out. Here's the pitch to Blair. Up and in a ball, one and zero. Oh. Crowd over here for South San begging for that yeah. call. No, that was a good take. That was out of the strike zone. No spin and throw to second. Not in time. As Ramirez back in diving. Well, he's definitely got their attention. Ramirez doing a good job keeping the focus away from the batter. Pitch on the way. Swings and lines one deep to left. Left fielder going back on it at the wall. He's going to make the catch. Runners will not tag up in advance, wow. which they should have been. He, that's who was just going to say. Absolutely should have been. As he had his back, he was running to the wall. He had no chance to make that throw back in. If both runners tag up, they both get to second and third. That was a well-hit ball. And so Blair flies out to left. And that will bring up Michael Newton. You know, the thing about that is you might say it's not that big a deal, but if you have second and third, a single scores you two, where now a single might only get you one. Pitch on the way, curve ball, a strike called. A kind of erratic strike zone here to start. Not really sure where the zone is. That high strike hadn't been called yet tonight. He got the call there. Reina comes set. Spins, no throw back to second. Ramirez definitely got his attention over there at second base. Ready for the 0-1, here it comes. Swing and a miss at a high fastball and it's nothing in two. Just need to make contact here. He's not gonna give you anything right down the middle, so be aggressive here. Just make contact, find a way to get on base. Spins and throws to second again. Well, a little bit closer. Too, too worried about the runner yeah. at second base. You get And when you, when you think about that fly out for Blair, the pitcher took five different looks back and forth at home and at second, and he laid him one right over the middle, and he's lucky he didn't leave the ballpark. Yeah. Because Blair got a hold of it. He just missed. There's a called strike three with a curve ball to Newton. First strike out of the game for Reyna. And the side's been retired, but the Panthers do get one run on three hits and they leave two on base. So we'll go to the second inning. Two to one, South Sand leading Medina Valley. You're listening to Panther Baseball and we will continue in just a moment. Big State Electric is raising the bar in the San Antonio electrical industry. Working with local and forward-thinking companies, we are changing the downtown skyline with beautiful and innovative buildings. As well as working with local universities, we are revolutionizing academic sports with cutting edge and high-tech electrical solutions. Join us as we light up the future one project at a time. Big State Electric, competence and quality since 1966. Supporting San Antonio, Austin, Houston, and the Gulf Coast region. Like you, we love calling this home. Cash Groveville State Bank has been serving the Medina Valley area for over 63 years by providing the best financial products 
modern technology, and customer service. Not only are we the local bank you can rely on for all your financial needs, but we are also your neighbors giving back to the community we grew up in and love. Come home to Casgroveville State Bank. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field. As we go to the top of the second inning, it's two to one, South Sand leading the Panthers. Krieger back out there to work and he will face the bottom of the order. It'll be Ryan Marty, Noah Gavidel, and Gavin Rips. And the first pitch from Krieger is a strike yeah, called at the knees. Good looking pitch. That's a pitch, though, that he needs to have called because it wasn't called all the time in that first inning. There's a strike down the middle, and it's nothing in two. Yeah, and that's, that first pitch was an awesome pitch. It was right at the knees, had some movement to it. Second one was just a little bit higher. He, both of them were strikes, though. Here comes the 0-2. Curveball swing and a miss, struck him out. Short work. And there is one away. That'll bring up Roland Bazadouo. Third strikeout for Krieger in the ball game. And there's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Right fielder going over, and that's going to gap him and go all the way to the base of the wall. Rips up with it. He'll play it back in. And Bazadouo will stop at second with a one out double. Good hit, Bazadouo. Well hit ball into the gap between right field and left field. Able to get to second base, no problem. That'll bring up Alex Roman. Roman. Roman? Mm-hmm. These handwriting these guys have. No, yeah, because we're copying it off the score, off the lineup card that the coaches turn in, and sometimes it's like reading Dr. Scratch. <laughs> That's exactly right. They know who they're writing down. We don't. Yeah. So a runner at second base now with one away, and this is Roman, the left fielder. Nine hitter in the lineup, and there's a strike called over the outside corner. 0 and 1. Basil Duell was another left-handed batter. He really put a charge into that to right center. There's a swing and a foul tip at the feet of the catcher, and it's nothing in two to Roman. Krieger just needs to keep doing what he's doing, throwing lots of strikes, and the defense will come and help him here before throughout the game here. O2 Ooh. just missed high. Tried a breaking ball that just didn't break enough, and it's one and two. Krieger ready, one, two on the way. Curveball swung on, fouled up the first baseline. Off the very end of the bat, cued yeah. that ball over to the dugout over there. Yeah, I mean, he hit it right off the end. One and two still. Krieger comes set, again with the one, two. Outside, two balls, two strikes. See, that was outside when it left his hand. Mm. You just saw him jerk it. Ready for the 2-2. Two -two. Pitch on the way, is swung on and foul tipped off the catcher. And it's still two and two. Krieger up to 40 pitches now in the second inning. He's through an inning in the third. A lot of pitches. I'd like to see him settle down here. Yeah. They're being and aggressive. They're well, taking their cuts. Well, and that's the thing. They're taking their cuts. They're fouling off pitches, and they're making them yep, work. They're making them work hard. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a foul tip again. Yeah. Just got a piece of it to stay alive, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And as a lineup, you know, 
yeah, they've gotten three hits. They got a couple of runs in that first inning. But when you're doing this, even if you make an out, it's a productive at bat because you're getting closer yeah, to that starter getting out of the game. There's a swing and a foul ball again out of play over to the right side. And it's two and two. And Krieger getting a little bit frustrated up there, I think just because the outs are not coming easy. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch on the way. Curve ball, swung on, fly ball, right field. Right fielder Ramirez under it, makes the catch for the out. The runner will stay put. It's a strong throw, comes yeah, into third, and there's two away. Next up, number four, Ernest Garcia. That'll bring up Ernest Garcia as they turn the lineup over for the first time. Ruben. Garcia 0 for 1. He popped out to the shortstop his only time in. Ramirez played that ball well, that fly ball, prepared for the throw. Got a good hard throw towards third base. Kept the runner from tagging up. Typically, you want to tag up with the ball hit to right field if you're on second base. It's a good thing he didn't. Yeah, well, it was shallow. It wasn't that deep, so I, I can see why he didn't. There's a strike called at the knees to Garcia. You know, as a base runner, you really have to read that, you know, in the, yep. if, the, if they're running backwards at it, you know they can't stop quick enough to make that throw. It's time to go, and there's a high bouncer to third. Stevens plays it. Long throw, got him. Good strong throw from Stevens Great at third play. base to make that play, and the side has been retired. So they get no runs on one hit, and they leave a man at second base. And so we'll go to the bottom of the second, still 2-1 to one South Sand. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by North Park Chevrolet, and we'll continue in a moment. Nobody can design, create, or maintain your lawn better than 3D Landscaping and Irrigation. With over 17 years of experience, owner Ray Doyan and his crew take pride in their craftsmanship and service. They're fully insured, offer free estimates, and multiple references, so you know you're getting the best. 3D does landscaping, lawn maintenance, irrigation, tree installation, lighting, and more. Whether it's residential or commercial, 3D Landscaping and Irrigation has you covered. Give 3D a call at 830-985-9115 or find us online at THR. Call State Farm Agent Hazel Russell in Castroville at 830-931-3441. Security State Bank, your financial partner since 1925 with one simple goal, to be the best bank possible to the families and businesses of South Texas. Check out Security State Bank's competitive rates and services from local people you know and trust. Serving South Texas with seven convenient locations, including 1726 Highway 90 East in Castroville. Call 830-538-9898 or online at securitystbk.com. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Okay, I'll get it. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the bottom of the second inning. It's going to be the bottom of the order. Ryan Marty, Noah Gavadell, and Gavin Rips coming to the plate. We got a ball game, Jared. Yeah, Panthers trailing two to one, and not a position they've been in very often this no, year. No, absolutely in not. Play. Absolutely. I think this is the first time I've seen them trail in district play. Yeah, and you know the well, they trailed one of the games we did earlier. They it was scored the first three inning. runs. Yeah, it was the first inning, though, I believe. And there's a swing and a miss by Marty. Took a big hack and came up empty. And that's the thing. It's been the it's been the early innings that have hurt Medina Valley from a defensive standpoint. 0-1 on the way. There's a swing and a bouncer. Third baseman plays it on two hops. Throws the first, and that goes to the dugout. Marty steps on first, and he'll head to second on the error. That's going to go as an E5, and the Panthers have a runner at second with nobody out. That should have been a routine play, and instead, Panthers with second base now. It was just an Aaron throw. They got away way to the left of the first baseman and went all the way to the fence and stuck over there along the fence line. So they had a long way to throw to get that ball. Allowed Marty plenty of time to get over to second base. Yeah, and you know Garcia actually he made a good play on that. He waited for it, had two bounces. He had a lot of time. It just 
you know, sometimes that cool weather like that, you don't have the feel for the ball, and, oh, yeah. and things like that happen. Good spot for the Panthers. Have a runner at second. It's where it's the bunt takes a ball. Yeah, and I was just going to say, a good opportunity to try to move him over with nobody out. Let's Gav see if they scores a run again, tries to bunt that ball. Gavidel will stand in here with a runner at second and nobody out. First baseman up on the infield grass. Third baseman will probably be charging. And he's playing back. Well, he's trying to hold against that runner coming. Throws it up near the coconut, and Gavadell yep. spins out of there. It's two and zero. Oh. Good job by Gavadell. Just lay off those pitches with the, you know, you got the bunt signal on. You sometimes you get too aggressive, and you like to bunt those at those high pitches. And he's laid off both times. Well, Good. when you see it coming at your head, you got two yeah. choices: try to bunt it or get out of the way. <laughs> Squares to bunt, pulls back at a high pitch, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, now if you're Gavidel, you don't even swing here. Well, you're going to square around hopefully anyway and just do a fake bunt. Just try to pull the focus away from the pitcher right now and what he's trying to do. I wouldn't even square to bunt. Pitch on the way, and that's a strike right through there. And he didn't square to he bunt. He did not. If he would have, he would have thrown a ball. Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They need to listen to me. I'm not talking <laughs> loud enough back here. Ready for the 3-1. Turns and throws to second. Shortstop has to block that from going through his legs. He was squaring around again, Jerry. Yeah, you know, he I was. I think the bunt's well, back on with 3-1. Three three one. One, yeah. It's back on. They're trying to get that tying run over to third. Absolutely, less than and two I think outs. that's smart. I, I think we missed too many opportunities to play small ball in general. No, ba in, in baseball in general is getting away from yeah. that. Everything's going to the long ball instead of just trying to score runs. In this game, small ball is going to win you the game, I believe. Takes a strike outside corner. I think he thought that was going to be a ball as he pulled the bat back, and now it's three and two, so the bunt's going to be off with a full count. Now you got to move over the runner. The old-fashioned way. Here comes the three, two. Here it comes. Down a ball, and he walked him. Good at bat, but Gavidel. First walk issued by Reyna in the ball game, and there's a runner at first and second now with nobody out, and it'll bring up Gavin Rips. And Rips probably going to be bunning here. But Rips, I mean, this is a sacrifice situation where you're trying to Absolutely. Move, you get two but, runners in scoring position. But with his speed he could try to beat this out. I was going to say, well be a late bunt. bunt, do a drag bunt, and try to beat it out. Pitch on the way, squares. Takes low, a ball, 1-0. and oh. First baseman playing up at halfway in there, and third baseman playing back. He's well, got to cover the back, so that means the pitcher's got to is, is going to be covering well, the third base well, side. If you're ripped, you got to you got to bunt that up the third base line and make the third baseman come up and make that play. Because if you place it well, about you know a third of the way up the third base line, he's got to come up, or the pitcher's got to go a long way. Yep. Squares to bunt, bunts it. Out in front of the plate, the pitcher grabs, throws to third. No way. In time, he got him with the force out. Fielder's choice goes one to five, and the, he bunted it right back to the pitcher, Dwayne. No. He doesn't have to tag him. That's a force out. That, he was safe. He was under. No, he don't have to be under anything. It's a force out. I know. I know it's a force out, but he was safe. And that's what Coach Herb is arguing. I could have. I, I saw it. I didn't even. After he made the play, I looked away because I thought he was safe. Wow. 1-5 for the putout on the fielder's choice. I thought and he got in there in time. Oh, well. And so first and second, one out now, and it'll bring up Dusty Davis at the top of the order. He lined out to second base his first time up, and he swings and foul tips one into the catcher's mitt, and it's nothing in one. You got to bunt that ball anywhere other than the pitcher. Yeah, you can't bunt it back to him. You gotta, anywhere you, other than the you pitcher. You have to bunt it up the line. Because the shortstop's not coming over to field to – oh, he threw it at him, almost hit him. It's a curveball that backed up on him, and somehow Davis ducked out yeah, of the way. Threw it behind him. And it's one and one. 
the thing is the shortstop's holding the runner on. Yeah. So if the third baseman comes up to make the play, there's nobody to cover the bag. Even down the it. first base side, you're still moving over. You're going to get the sacrifice. I don't think that first base is going to make the play a third. There's a swing and a miss, one and two. This is a big out bat right here for the Panthers. A ball and two strikes. One out, runners at first and second. Spins and throws to second. Not in time. He's really We've worried about that. throw five times yeah, back he's there. He's really worried about that runner at second. And as a runner, you need to keep that up. One of these times he's going to throw it into center field. One, two on the way. Called strike three over the outside corner. Rings up Davis, and there's two away. Tough pitch a hit on the outside corner and low, but you've got to protect the plate with two strikes. you got two runners on. you got to be swinging that bat. Even though it was a borderline call, could have gone either way. you still got to protect the plate. That will bring up Wesley Stevens. Stevens one for one in the ball game. He's got runners at first and second with two outs. But the Panthers had a golden opportunity here, first and second with nobody out. They're still there with two away. So Steven stands in, right hand batter against Reyna. We're in the bottom of the second, there's two away. Still two to one, South Sand with the lead. Wind starting to blow a little harder out it towards is. left field. First pitch is high, a ball, 1-0. Good take to lay off that high pitch. It was a borderline strike up in the strike zone. Been sitting here nice and comfortable. I'm going to have to put my coat on here. This is all I brought today. It's going to get chilly for me. Ready for the 1-0. Pitch on the way, and he spins and looks the runner back. Uh, South Texas is not used to low 60s in temperature <laughs> <laughs> with a major wind chill. 1-0, swing and a miss. Tied him up on the hands and it's yep. one and one. Rain is pitch, swung on, popped up high on the right side of the infield. Second base, it's going to be caught by the second baseman. Wow. For a second there, it looked like nobody knew it was going to take charge. The second baseman does. And a pop out to second ends the inning. But the Panthers squander a golden opportunity there. They had first and second with nobody outs, and they get nothing out of it. So they get no runs on no hits. A walk and an error mixed in. They leave two on base. So we'll go to the third inning, 2-1 to one South Stand. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in a moment. Rusty Rooster at 806 Highway 90 West in Castroville is the place to stop on your way home from work or to drop by on the weekend to grab some beverages without ever leaving your truck. Rusty Rooster, the place in Castroville for quenching your thirst from sun up to sundown. Drive through today, fast, convenient. That's Rusty Rooster, 806 Highway 90 West in Castroville. After all, anything goes till the rooster crows. With Broadway Bank, your everyday banking is fast, easy, and digital. And now you can bank local and earn $300 when you open a new free checking account online with qualifying activities. Enjoy the convenience of a Texas-based bank with lots of local financial centers and an award-winning online and mobile banking experience that lets you bank when you want. Learn more about this limited-time offer at broadway.bank. Minimum opening deposit is $25. Offer subject to change without notice. Terms and conditions apply. Member FDIC. Back here at Gerald Kemp Field as Krieger's first pitch to Hernandez is a ball, 1-0. and 
Hernandez fouls that second pitch back. One ball, one strike. Hernandez struck out looking his only time in. He's 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's got runners. Nobody on leading off here in the top of the third. Still 2-1 South Sand. There's a swing and a foul back on a breaking ball that was left up. And it's 1-2. and two. Ready for the 1-2. Swings and bounces one. Comebacker to the mound. Krieger grabs, throws to first for the out. And there are there is one away. He played by Krieger to stay in there on the mound as that pitch came right back to him. Next up, number 11. Fielded it cleanly, took a good strong hold over to third base. That'll bring up Julian Hernandez, or actually Marcus Estrada. Estrada walked his only time in, no official at bat. He later scored their first run. And there's a swing and a miss and a good curve ball. Nothing in one. Nothing in one on the way. Down low a ball. Makes it one and one to Estrada. One one pitch is on the outside corner for a called strike, and it's one and two. Got a little headlight action in right field, yeah. right in the eyes of the batter. Yeah. Perfect. They'll have to make them turn that off in a minute. That pitch comes outside, and it's two and two. Still with the lights on out there. Yeah, umpire hasn't said anything. They yet. typically do. Yeah, usually they stop the game for that. There, he turned them off. Two two on the way. Down and in. Three and two. So Estrada worked the walk his first time up. He's got a payoff pitch coming up here with one away. Krieger's pitch is inside, and he walked him. Tried a curveball on 3-2, and he backed it up. Second walk issued by Krieger, and there's a runner at first with one away. And this is the part of the order that did the damage yeah. in the first inning. Well, that's two walks now to Estrada. And that'll bring up Josiah Karaman, who singled his only time in. Left-hand batter will stand in, one for one. Runner at first with one away. South Sand Coates giving signals to the base runner in the, in the batter here. See if they have anything on. Double play ball would be Taylor made here. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Took a big cut and came up empty, and it's nothing in one to Karaman. Left-hander steps back up in there. Stands straight away, ready for the 0-1. Krieger kicks and delivers, and that's down and out. One ball, one strike. Krieger checks on the runner at first and comes set. Pitch on the way, it swung on, popped up, left field. Watch a win. Gavidel waiting under it, makes the Good catch play. for the out, and there's two away. Good play by Gavidel to track that ball down because that wind's really blowing, played it perfectly with the wind. That'll bring up Matthew Reyna. Reyna doubled his only time in and drove in both runs. Helped his own cause. He's got a chance here with the runner at first and two away. He doubled one, hopped off the wall in left field. There's a swing and a poke out in the right center. Rips coming in hard. He's going to have to let that play in front of him as it drops down. Estrada goes first to third. And then the error... Allow well the throw is going to allow the runner to go first to second, but it's really a misplayed ball. But they have runners at second and third with two away now, and here comes Coach Herb out to talk to Krieger. You know the, the whole team seems to be out of sync a little bit, Jared. There's not a lot of energy. Coach Herb's going to go out and talk to them and try to get these these guys focused. I mean, I know he's not talking to Krieger because Krieger's going to be th he's throwing a lot of strikes. Is that they, they just, they're not, seems like they're not into this game right now. Well, it's not even that. I mean, he's throwing a lot of strikes, but they're having good at bats. Oh, they're they make, are. They're making him work, and as a pitcher, you get frustrated when you throw a lot of pitches. I mean, if you think about it, he's thrown 60 pitches, and he's threw two and two-thirds That many innings. already, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's 60 pitches. That's four innings worth. 
and they're they're getting some hits. They're putting the barrel on the ball, and they've hit they've hit some balls hard. They've hit a couple of lollipops out in the center field that have dropped in for hits. I mean, they're they're swinging the bats well, and you got to give them credit for that. And it's frustrated Medina Valley, and they're in a position that they're not used to being in, trailing in the third inning of a district game. Yeah. And now you're going to see what this team's made of because now they're in a situation that they've not been in. How do they handle it? Yep. And this is good exactly. for them. I mean, this is a good experience for them to be in a game like this because they've been cruising through district. Yep. And when you get in the playoffs, it's games like these that are going to give you that experience against good teams. That's down in the dirt, ball one. Good block by Blair to keep that ball in front of him. Kella struck out looking his only time in. He's got runners at second and third with two away. one -oh. swings and bounces one. High in the air, Stevens plays it, throws to first for the out to get him. Good play by Stevens. He's made a couple of good plays at third that base That was an tonight. outstanding play, coming hard and taking the risk. That, that ball was not going to have a huge well, uh, hop there. Well, and if he if he waits for that ball to come down, he does not make that play yep. at first because the runner had speed to Kella. No, he played it well. He had to make that play like that, and he, he fielded it almost running at the mound, threw on to first for the out, and the side's retired. So they get no runs on one hit and a walk, and they leave two on base. And so we will go to the bottom of the third, still 2-1 to one South Sand. You'll listen to Panther baseball, and we'll continue in a moment. Sammy's Restaurant and Havy's Alsatian Bakery. Two legendary landmarks in Casterville. From breakfast to delicious hometown lunch specials and more, Sammy's satisfies your taste buds with the unique flavor of Casterville. And from fresh baked breads to pies and pastries, South Texans have made Havy's Alsatian Bakery a must to visit since 1940. Sammy's Restaurant, online at sammysrestaurant.com. Havy's Alsatian Bakery, online at havysbakery.com. The Medina Valley Sports Boosters are proud to support the Medina Valley Panthers. The Boosters are always looking for volunteers and new members. The MVP Boosters raise funds to support the MVISD sports and scholarship programs. Get your Panther swag at the football store located next to the concession stand. We have several items on sale. Join, volunteer, or purchase your Panther swag today at MVPBoosters.com. Back here at Gerald Kemp Field, it'll be Ramirez, Krieger, and Blair due up to face Reyna here in the third. And the first pitch to Ramirez is up and outside for a ball. Ramirez, one for one, he singled his only time in. Nobody on here leading off the bottom of the third. His team trailing, Ooh. and that hit him. That no, hit the knob of the no, bat. No, that hit the knob of the bat, and that's going to be a foul ball. Well, Bad luck. Well, you know what? The umpire didn't throw his hands up for a foul ball, but I heard it hit something and hit the knob of the bat if that's the case it should be a foul pitch on the way that's on the outside corner for a called strike it should be two two or one it two should be one and two no it's two and one he called that a ball he just flashed the the count two and one pitch on the way outside three and one Probably hit the 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 McCatcher's mitt then I guess maybe sound that it, it made a fleshy sound yeah you know? it sounded like it hit something that wasn't the mitt you know ready for the three one good hitters count pitch on the way and that's upstairs a ball so a lead off walk issued to Ramirez that's a second free pass issued by Reyna and the lead off man's aboard for Krieger who had an RBI single his only time in. Ramirez on base both times up to bat so far, doing a good job at the plate. Panthers need to get something going here. Ramirez leads from first. Krieger digs in. 
Pitch on the way, squares to Bunt. He, they throw down behind Ramirez. Good block by the first baseman to keep that there. Yeah, the catcher threw one hopper down to first base. And that was a ball, and I'm surprised that Krieger, who's one of your better hitters in the lineup, squaring around to Bunt. I mean, doing that, you're taking the bat out of his hands. Here's the pitch, and that's outside corner called strike. One and one. He wasn't squaring to bunt that time. No, he wasn't. I'd like to see a hit and run on, instead of a bunt on that one. You need to take advantage with nobody out and a runner on. One, one. Squares to bunt again. He bunts it foul back to the screen. It's one and two. Now with two strikes, Krieger's going to have to put one in play here. Ready for the one-two. Just looks the runner back to first. No throw. He stepped off the rubber. Wouldn't help we see a breaking ball. One-two, high. High heater. Yeah, he thought about it, too. Krieger laid off, but he thought about going after it. It's two balls, two strikes. Two two on the way, and that's a curveball that got away from him, and the count's going full three and two. So a three two coming up here to Krieger. You got Ramirez at first with nobody out, a leadoff walk put in there. They throw over to first, and Ramirez back in diving. Ready for the three, two. Kicks and delivers. Swings and hits one on Get the ground. There. Third baseman makes the snag, throws to second. No. He pulled him off the bag. That's going to be an E5, an errant throw. It pulled the second baseman covering off the bag, and there's runners at first and second with nobody out. Ramirez has to go in there sliding. He went up and, and did not – you can't be running into the base – Standing up, he needs to be sliding. That way, there's no doubt that, well, that he's going to be safe. Well, and if you're if you're standing up, running into second base, and you're not going to round the bag because the throws come there, you're slowing down to stop. So by sliding, you have yeah. to get to the bag quicker. You know, when you're running out a, a ground ball at first base, you keep running. They tell you not to slide because you'll get there quicker running because you can run through the bag. You can't do that at second base. No, not not on an attempted double play ball. Take, we got lucky, we'll take it. Yeah, exactly. And Aaron Throw pulled him off the bag, and it's first and second with nobody out. And it'll bring up J.D. Blair, who flew out deep to left his only time in. Brody Rips on first base, going to pinch run. Corners are playing way in the grass. Pitch on the way is high, a ball, 1-0. and oh. They're expecting a bunt there with yeah. nobody out. Well, and Reina, over the last inning in about a half, has really started to get a little more wild. He yep. doesn't have the command of his yeah, you're right, Jared. that he had early in the ball game. And you wonder if that's arm fatigue, throwing a lot of pitches or what. There's a strike called over the outside corner with a fastball. Ramirez needs to work him over there at second base. Get his attention. Ready for the 1-1. One, one. Balk. They balked. And that, when you start spinning to second base, those are the things that you get into trouble with. And he balks the runners to second and third. Now and all credit to, to Manny Ramirez on on uh, at second base, keeping his attention, yep. and he made him balk. Good job of Ramirez. Ready for the 1-1. One, one. Nobody out. Here's the pitch to Blair. Swings and fouls it straight back to the screen. So without the bunt that we, that we anticipated, they got two runners in scoring position with nobody out. A walk, an error. You got to take advantage. And a balk, yeah. Yeah, you got to take advantage. We've right. got to scratch some runs off right here. When you left four on base already in the ball game. 
I'm ready for the one, two. Pitch to Blair on the way. Curve ball called strike three. Nasty pitch. Na yeah, nasty curve ball that time. Three strikeouts for Reyna in the ball game. And it'll bring up Michael now Newton. Number 14, Michael Newton. Still no, still less than two outs here. Second and third with one away. Newton struck out looking his only time in. The safety squeeze would not hurt either here. Pitch on the way. Outside, and low, a ball, 1-0. and oh. First place, first baseman playing way up in the grass. Reyna comes set, checks on the runners. The 1 0 on the way. Curveball hmm. called strike. That's that same pitch. He's been throwing it for a strike yeah. here recently. Well, and it's making the batters give up on it. They start to kind of back yeah, out they of do. there, and it breaks back across the plate. First baseman expecting a bunt. He's way up. Ready for the one, two. And here comes the third the baseman one, up. One, one. That was a good looking fastball. Need to be swinging the bat. Yeah, outside corner called strike one and two. Panthers just been a little bit off. They need, they need to be swinging aggressively. Of course, credit to Reyna, thrown, thrown well. Ready for the one, two. Reyna stares in for his sign. He has it. He comes set at the letters. Checks the runner at third. Pitch on the way. Threw it, almost hit him, backed up the curveball, and it's two and two. And I'm sorry, Dwayne. Well, what let it you, hit you. Let it hit you. There's people in. If it's coming out of your head, I get it. But if you can take yeah, it in the shoulder on no, the backside. But, but when it's a curveball yeah. like that that's backing up, just take it. Yeah. It's coming in there at 69 miles an hour. 2-2 two, two on the way. Swings and lines one. Get in there. The right center. That's going to drop into right field for a base hit. One runs home. They're going to send the trailer. Here comes the throw from right field. In time, he's going to be out at the plate. But the Panthers do get one run to tie it up on the RBI single from Michael Newton. A good throw from the right fielder. So it goes 9-2 for the put out at the plate. And there's two down. Not a bad move. I would have sent him also with the opportunity. The way that ball was hit, it was a Texas leaguer over the first baseman's head and it just kind of dribbled out there. Well, Try to get both those runs in. Well, and the runners had to hold up yeah, because of that, had to make sure it, it was, was in the air a little bit. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's part of the reason for the hesitation running. He had to. And then uh, that ball kind of trickled out there into right. And I think Coach Herb made the right choice there, but a good throw by the right fielder. Give him credit for making that throw. This is Marty who takes a strike over the outside corner. Marty reached on an error his only time in. He's 0 for 1 officially. Panthers have tied the ball game at 2. Runner at first still with two down, and there's a swing and a bouncer to short. Shortstop has it, underhands it to second for the fielder's choice. 6-4 for the putout in the side has been retired, but the Panthers do get a run on one hit. An error and a walk mixed in, and they leave one on base. And so we'll go to the fourth inning. 2-2 two, two your score. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by North Park Chevrolet, and we'll continue in a moment. Dotson House Moving and Construction is a fourth generation company operated by the same family for over 75 years. We do turnkey work from moving your structure, setting the foundation, and all your construction needs. Aluminum decking, concrete work, canopies, and any other need to make your project operational. From moving to construction, large or small, Dotson House Moving and Construction does it all. Located at 12 939 Southwest Loop 410 in San Antonio. Give us a call at 210-628-1459. 
right now at Chevrolet's three-time dealer of the year, North Park Chevrolet. Get $15,000 off MSRP and 1.9% financing on new Silverado 1500 trucks, plus $2,250 in trade assistance cash, and $7,000 off MSRP on new Blazers. Lease a new Equinox for $299 with zero down or buy for $23,999. Get 2.1% financing on all new Traverses. Find new roads at North Park Chevrolet. 10 minutes outside Loop 410 in Castroville or at npchevy.com. Back here at Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the fourth inning. Krieger out there to work to the bottom of the order. It'll be Rodriguez, Basaluda, and Roman. Roman, and there's a bouncer to second. Throw to first for the out. One pitch, one out here in the Yeah, that's what you want to see. One pitch, one out, easy ground ball over to second base. No problems for Davis there to get the ball, get the first out of the inning. Here's Ronald Basaluda. He doubled his only time in to the wall in right center field, split the gap. First pitch to the left-hand batter is down for a ball, 1-0. He took that first pitch in that last at bat out to right center, 1-0 on the way. Inside corner called strike, 1-1. One one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Left hand batter ready, here's the 2-1. Swings and lines, one to second. Diving play at second by Davis. What a good play. He was diving toward the bag and he made the play and there's two away. The outstanding Dave, uh, play by Davis. Liner right, right towards second base make a diving play to his right and just caught in the web in his glove to get the second out. That would have been, that's huge. Now you're sitting with two outs instead with one out and a runner on first. That'll bring up Alex Roman who flew out to right field his only time in, he's 0 for 1. Nobody on, two down, here's the pitch from Krieger. Bouncer back to the mound, Krieger has it, throws to first for the out and a quick, quick one, two, three inning for Krieger who throws about six pitches in the inning. No runs, no hits, nobody left on. First one, two, three inning of the ball game for either side. Yeah. And we'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied at two. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in a moment. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. Have you ever made a friend by accident? I know I have. This is Alec with Lone Star Towing of Natalia, and I just want to let y'all know that I pay top dollar for your junk, wrecked, and abandoned vehicles. I can even come to your location and tow it out of there at no extra charge. Give me a call at 210-777-0585, and I'll be sure to get you taken care of quickly. We're back here at Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 2-2 as Krieger just had a very quick 1-2-3 top of the fourth inning through six pitches and got out of that. And that's what you like to see, especially after he's had a tough time um, navigating through those first three innings. He only gave up runs in the first inning, but he's had a lot of pitches thrown. They've chipped away. They've hit, you know, some bloopers here and there. They fouled a lot of pitches off and made him work. It's nice to see him have that kind of inning. Maybe that'll settle him down now. And you, your team just tied to the ball game, and you get that quick inning to get yeah, your offense gonna say, back out there right away. At the away. very least, it's a huge confidence booster. You just tied the game up. Your pitcher comes out, throws just a handful of pitchers. You're out of the inning. Coming back here to try to scratch off some more runs. So this will be Noah Gavidel. 
Gavin rips and Dusty Davis, and Gavidel takes a ball, 1-0. and oh. Good job laying off that pitch. It was just borderline being a, a, a strike. It was just a little bit high. Did a good job last time with the bat walk last time previously. Gavidel walked his only time in. 1-0 on the way. Takes a strike over the outside corner, and it's 1-1. One and one. A ball and a strike. Reina's pitch is a breaking ball called strike. And it's one and two. A lot of drop on that 12-6 curveball. Yeah. It's a good pitch that caught the bottom of the zone. Reina's one, two on the way. Down and out. Two balls, two strikes. He tried that fastball and he just yep. yanked it He down. overthrew it. He tried to throw it past him. Two and two to Gavidel. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Got him with a high fastball. And that's the fourth strikeout of the ball game for Reyna. Couldn't lay off that pitch. No, and there's one away. And we've said before, that, that high fastball is one of the hardest yeah. ones to lay off. No, credit to, credit to Reyna. That was a good pitch. Well, and the thing about that is it looks so inviting. Yep. It looks like a pumpkin coming up there, and by the time you swing, it's past you. This is Gavin Rips. He was out on a – well, he reached on a fielder's choice his only time in. It was a supposed to be a sacrifice bunt, but they went 1-5 for the put out at third to make it a fielder's choice. So he's 0 for 1 in the ball game. He takes ball one. Second pitch is swung on, hit in the air left field. Left fielder goes back about four steps, makes the catch, and there's two away. And that'll bring up the top of the order, Dusty Davis. Davis is lined out and struck out. He's 0 for 2. Nobody on, two away. Right-hand batter against the right-hand pitcher. Reyna into the windup, pitch on the way. Out of down low, 1-0. Close pitch right yeah, there. Yeah, that was, he's been calling that outside pitch here recently quite a bit. Ready for the 1-0, here it comes. High, a ball, 2-0. Ready for the 2-0, here it comes. Called strike outside corner. That's the same pitch as the first pitch. Yeah. He called it this time, didn't call it the time before. Two and one. There's a swing and a miss with a fastball. Davis was late on that one and it's two and two. There's a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Four, five strikeouts now for Reyna in another quick fourth inning for both pitchers that time. As the Panthers get no runs on no hits, they go in order one, two, three. Nobody left on. We'll go to the top of the fifth, still 2-2. Two, two. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by Dotson House Moving and Construction, and we'll continue in just a moment. Are you ready for a vacation? Tanya with Travel by Design can help you with all your vacation destination needs. At no cost to you, she can plan all of the details tailored to your unique wants and needs. So all you have to do is enjoy your vacation. Tanya is a certified expert with Disney Universal Orlando and California, Sandals, and all cruise lines. Give Tanya a call at 830-931-4834 or visit her Facebook page, Tanya with Travel by Design, for all the latest specials and must-do vacations. There's power in the simplest of actions, like one neighbor helping another, where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything at Medina Electric Cooperative, and we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need, giving you the power 
to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Welcome back to Panther Baseball. We are going to the top of the fifth inning. Bobcats will bring to the plate the top of the order, Ernest Garcia, the third baseman. Scores are on the bunt. It's going to be a drag bunt down the third baseline. Fielded by Krieger. Krieger's over to first. is going to be high. The ball's going to get away and roll over to the fence. Garcia's going to make his way to second base. The ball comes in, and he holds it second base. So he's going to – Bobcats will lead off the top of the inning with a base hit drag bunt. And with the throwing error, it's going to get him over to second base. So that will bring to the plate the shortstop number 12, Julian Hernandez. Hernandez struck out and grounded at the first base. He's going to step up to the plate. Krieger's going to check the runner over at second. Kick and throw home is going to be another bunt pushed toward the first baseline. Field it by Krieger. Krieger looks at third, looks back at first, and does not throw. So it's going to be another infield base hit for the Bobcats two in a row. And that's going to bring Coach Herb out of the dugout to try to settle him down. So the Bobcats are going to end up on two pitches and two bunts, basically two drag bunts, one push down the third baseline and one push down the first baseline. They have two runners on right away, so the Bobcats will have runners at first and third with nobody out. So the Bobcats all of a sudden come up with some small ball, and that's why I think Coach Herb is going to talk to his infield, kind of defend. They're going to have first and third situation. They're going to, you know, the Bobcats are probably going to try a double steal of some sort, or they may keep bunting here, try to get some more runners on, and now that the Panthers are a little bit frustrated. And to the plate will be the second baseman, number 11, Marcus Estrada, has walked twice so far tonight. So Estrada makes his way to the plate. Krieger's going to have to pitch from the stretch now. Nobody out. Runners at first and third. Estrada scores around and bunts. Bunts right. Oh, he pulls it back. He called it a ball on the outside there. Ball outside. Ball one, one and oh. So Estrada tried to make do three bunts in a row there. See if he tries it again. Krieger from the stretch. Scores around. Bunts the ball towards the first baseline. Field it by Krieger. Bobbles the ball. Throws it over to first. The run does score, and they do get the force out at first. So ground out the first base will get the first out of the inning, but the score will run with three straight bunts in a row. Now with one out, Josiah Kariman will come to the plate, the right fielder who has singled and flied out to left with runners, two runners in score, well, no, one runner at scoring position is standing at second base, the run previously scored. A 3-2 lead now for South Sand, the left-handed batter comes to the plate here. That was a huge run, Jared, on three straight bunts. Yep, pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Nothing in one. It's a lost arc bunting. It's amazing what it can do for Absolutely. you. Now the main thing for Krieger here is stop the bleeding. You know, keep this a 3-2 game. Runs have been hard to come by for the Panthers in this one. There's a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Nothing in two here. Batter asks for time, steps out on Krieger. Home plate umpire grants it. Right. 
Ready for the 0-2. There's a swing and a pop-up in foul territory. Got a chance. Third baseman Stevens giving chase, and it's going to drop foul. Right fielder was giving chase as well, but dropped out no man's land. Luckily foul, and it's still 0-2. Yep. Yeah, I'm still trying to get over those three bunts in a row. <laughs> drag bunt, third baseline, drag bunt, first baseline, then another bunt down the first baseline. They got the bunts down, good-looking bunts. Ready for the 0-2. Krieger checks the runner at second. Pitch on the way. Outside, way outside, and it's one and two. Yeah, that was, a, that was way outside. You can tell a little bit of frustration there for Krieger. When he's thrown... Around 80 pitches now in the ball game. So, I mean, it, it's not it, – it's his normal workload, but they've just done a good job of putting the ball in play at times, and there's a pitch down and out, two and two. Yeah, another one that got away from him just a little bit. And you wonder sometimes this cooler weather if that affects sometimes their grip on the baseball, the way they feel it. Ready for the 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing and a foul straight back, and we'll do it again at two balls, two strikes. I think it's more the drier weather that it has a lot to do with that ball can slip mm -hmm. out of your fingers. You don't have that little bit of stickiness to it. You do as humans as it is usually around here. Ready for the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a bouncer first. First baseman up with it, flips it to the pitcher covering. Runner goes to third. So it goes 3-1 for the put out, and there's two away, and the runner at third base. And then will bring up Matthew Reyna. Reyna's two for two. He's doubled single, and he's driven in a pair. He's been the most dangerous hitter in their lineup so far this evening. And he's got a runner at third with two away. Krieger will work from the windup with a runner at third. And there's a swing and a tapper foul at the feet of the catcher. And it's nothing in one. Yeah. Panthers got to get the out here. Well, and Rain is trying to help his own cause yeah. here. I mean, he's driven in two of the three runs they have. He's pitched a, he's pitched a good game for them as well. He's worked himself out of trouble. A few times, here's the 0-1. That's down and out of ball. And the main thing is a starting pitcher, what you ask for is give your team a chance to win. And both of these starters have done that. 1-1 one, one on the way. Yanks it outside, the ball gets away from Blair. Throw to the plate, not in time. That's gonna be a wild pitch and that's gonna get the run home. Forty-two score now, Jared. It's yeah. going to be tough here with not many outs left for the Panthers. No, nine outs remaining for Medina Valley. Runs have been hard to come by. Nobody on now. Two-one on the way is down low a ball. It's three and one. Krieger's three-one. Called strike outside corner, and that'll fill it three and two. Krieger's payoff on the way. Swings and hits one up the middle into center field for a base hit. He's three for three in the ball yeah, game. Yeah, he's had a good day at the plate. Had a good day throwing to the plate, too. And that'll bring up Marcus Kella. Kella has struck out and grounded out to third. He's 0 for 2. He's got a runner at first with two away. There's two runs in in the inning. It's a 4-2 lead for South Sand. And Krieger from the stretch comes set. First pitch on the way, squares to bunt, and he takes a strike, and it's 0-1. Yeah, dude, we're trying to bunt again here, and I think that was with on his own. Outs. Drag bunt on his own. I don't think he got that from the coach. No, not with two outs. Ready for the 0-1. Here it comes. Just missed outside with a slider. And it's 1-1. One one. Krieger.
Krieger set at the, up high at the hat and he deals a ball outside, two and one. Just a little two-step lead by Reyna over there at first base. Not gonna be a steal threat, I wouldn't think. Ready for the two one, it's on the way. Swing and a miss, makes it two balls, two strikes. Tied him up with a fastball at the hands. Big pitch here. Ready for the 2-2, here it comes. Swings and bounces one to short. Newton up with it, throws to first, low, and not dug out of the dirt. And the inning continues. That's gonna. That's a tough pitch. play. He, he, I think he should have charged the ball a little bit more. Yeah, no, I think he would have beat it out. Yeah, no, I think he did. Yeah, I think he was there before the throw. But if Newton charges that, makes the throw. I mean, he sat back. The ball was he hit did. well. But yeah, he sat back on it, and I think he had a better opportunity. He would have charged it. So I think he would have beat it out, even if he did make a, a throw, a good throw there. That's a that's a tough that's a tough decision for the shortstop because the ball was hit fairly well. It wasn't just a dribbler out there that he had to charge. It was one of those well, it's kind of in between. Do you make the charge or do you wait for it? So their Panthers are going to make a change. It looks like Newton Newton's going to go to the mound. Krieger will step off, and I, bl I believe Pargis is going to enter the game. To go at to shortstop, shortstop like they did last time. So Logan Pargis will head over to shortstop. Krieger will head to the dugout, and Newton will try to finish his game off. Well, we got the opportunity, Jared. Let's do is a couple of readers here from some of our sponsors. One of them is from the Sunrise Restaurant. Family dining is the best in New Valley, Texas, located at 510 West Main Street. We were open for breakfast and lunch. On your way through town, stop in and give our mouth-watering breakfast and delicious lunch plates a try. Easy in and easy out. Panther fans will be making many trips this way in the near future, and we want to invite you to stop by. If you're in a hurry, call 830-278-6100 for to-go orders. Go Panthers, and best of luck. Other readers from Magnolia Filling Station. The Magnolia Filling Station features a daily dark roast and Fiorella blend medium roast drip coffee. Lattes, iced lattes, cold brews, chai lattes, mochas, teas, and lemonades. They're daily made from scratch, pastries, muffins, cookie, cookies, cupcakes, and banana bread, just to name a few. A variety of sandwiches include ham, turkey, Italian, and pimento cheese. <clears throat> they have protein lunch boxes, English muffin breakfast sandwiches, and fresh fruit parfaits. Sit outside on the patio and enjoy the historic downtown Casterville atmosphere, or sit inside and visit with the friendly baristas and locals. Located at 1101 on Fiorella Street in beautiful downtown Casterville. Thanks to Sunrise Restaurant and Magnolia Filling Station for sponsoring Panther Baseball. So Michael Newton getting his warm-up throws here. As Coach Herb makes a pitching change. They need to get one out here, Jared, real quick. And they need to come to the plate. They need to be ready to go. Yeah, looking ahead to the Panther fifth it's going to be this two three four hitter so you're going to have Stevens Ramirez Krieger do up try to get you back into the ball game here looks like this game will drag into the 10 o'clock hour like they have been with these 730 starts and we say 730 starts 745 been, yeah they've been looking 745 750 I think the last game was and you know what the sad part is is the JV games have all ended on time Pretty much, yeah. And they just get started late. Wind still blowing. Oh, glory over there moving from left to from right to left. Anything hits going to be pushed towards left field. Well, if you're the Panthers in the next inning, a bloop and a blast will tie it. Oh, they're, they're and, definitely and within striking distance. Well, what I'm getting at is you don't have to get you don't have to hit it that well up in the air to left field. If you can get it up no. out there, you got a chance. No, they're definitely within striking distance. However, they've got to finish this inning. They've got to get this out right here. Yeah, the wind has picked up progressively as the night's gone yeah. on. And, yeah, you got to get this out here. Newton comes in with runners at first and second. He inherits them. This is this a big out. Alex Rodriguez, who struck out and grounded out to second. He is 0 for 2. Big out, if anything, just to stop the momentum.
Pitch on the way is a high curveball, 1-0. and oh. Newton came into the game against Southside last week, pitched an inning in relief. It was not a safe situation with a 9-2, 9-3 lead, but did a good job in that game. There's a ball just outside with a fastball. Newton with a little more velocity than Krieger. The breaking ball's got a little more loop to it. It's more of a straight 12 to six curve ball than the sharp breaking kind of knuckle curve that Krieger throws. Time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Ready for the 2-0. Newton comes set at the belt. Kicks and brings it. Curveball stays high and it's 3-0. and Yeah, tried that curveball again, it's not working. Needs to get on top of it just a little bit more. There's a strike call. Batter thought he had a walk. Started his way to first, and it's three and one. Three one on the way. Swings and fists one to first. First baseman Marty takes it to the bag himself for the out. And the side's retired, so Newton comes in, falls behind 3-0, and and gets a big out to get out of that. And the damage is done, though. They pick up two runs on four hits, and they leave two on base. And so we will go to the bottom of the fifth, 4-2 to two South Sand. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by North Park Chevrolet. And we'll continue in a moment. Bush's Chicken, one of the oldest locations in Castroville, is proud to serve the Medina Valley area. Bush's Chicken has one goal, be the best. Bush's Chicken knows its success comes from loyal customers in the communities they serve. Stop by Bush's Chicken on Tuesday and get the Tinder Tuesday deal or try their buffalo fries and ask about their Panther special. It's always a hit. Bush's Chicken, 935 Highway 90 East in Castroville. Call them at 830-538-2800. Texas, 268,000 square miles and then some. Twice as much elbow room as California. There's just no place like Texas. And you can take that to the bank. Texan Bank, poised and ready for a future that's wide open. Member FDIC. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the bottom of the fifth. It's four to two South Sand with the lead now and it'll be Medina Valley to the plate. It'll be the two, three, four hitters, Wesley Stevens, Manny Ramirez and Jaden Krieger due to the plate. So you got your two, three, four hitters. They just put up a pair to go back in front after you had tied it. We'll see if the Panthers can respond again yeah. here down four to two. No need to panic. We have three at bats left. They just got, they, they've got to try to get at least one here and just try to chip away at that lead. Well, and your third time through the lineup here against Reyna. Leading off of the Panthers. So you've seen him twice Wesley before. Let's see if you can make some adjustments here. Stevens stands in one for two. Pitch on the way is in there for a strike over the outside corner. Nothing in one. He's not happy at all with that call. No, that was a borderline pitch right there. <sighs> Inconsistent. 0-1 on the way. Down and out, one and one. Tried with the curveball, couldn't find the strike zone there. Good take by Stevens. 
1-1 pitch, here it comes. Swings and lines one back up the middle, and that's into center field for a leadoff single here in the fifth inning. Exactly what they needed, Jerry. Good hard ball right up the middle. Get the lead runner on base. That'll bring up Manny Ramirez. Ramirez one for one. He singled and walked. Now batting. Number 11. Right man in the right spot, Jared. Last yep. two games, Ramirez has been hitting the ball really, really well. Yeah, he's come through in a couple of clutch at bats, and we'll see if he can get one here. He's got a runner at first with nobody out. His team trailing four to two. And tonight, no different with a single and a walk. First pitch from Reyna. Curveball high, one and zero. Oh. Checking signals here. Let's see if the Panthers have anything on. Catcher's ready to throw. Pitch on the way. Down low, 2 0. Oh. Mirrors in a good spot here with the hitters count. Two balls, no strikes. Sit back, look for something right down the middle, something he can drive. Throw over to first. Got away. Gets away. It's going to roll to the fence, and Stevens is going to head for second base, and he's going to turn to go for three. No throw is going to be issued as he goes first to third on the air and throw on the pickoff move, and the Panthers have a runner at third with nobody out. Well, Jared, you said it earlier. He's going to end up throwing one in the outfield, and this is exactly what happened. He threw too many times a second, tried, tried to pick him off over at first base and throw one out in the outfield. So an error moves the runner to third. Now a fly ball or something hit to the right side of the field scores a run. Yep. Two balls, no strikes is the umpire called time here. I don't think Ramirez knew what the count no. was because there was a lot going on. Yeah, well, he should have huge eyes looking at this pitch if it's right down the middle. Ready for the 2-0. Pitch on the way. Swings and oh. lines one foul out of play down the first base line. It's two and one. He got the pitch he was looking for. He squared it up. It just went foul. He was late on and it. A little bit little behind late. it. Yep. That's exactly what he wanted right there. He wishes he had that pitch back. Ready for the two one. Time asked for by Ramirez. The home plate umpire grants it. Yeah. I think that's a good time out there. Right-handed batter stands straight away. Reina comes set, 2-1 on the way. Swings and hits one up the middle. And that's going to get over the shortstop and into center field. You're going to get a run home. It's an RBI single for Ramirez. And it's three to two, or it's four to two, or four to three now. Good Valley trailing. hit by Manny Ramirez. He had the, the count. He knew exactly what to look for, which is that, that fastball right down the middle. Took it right back at him up the middle. Got the RBI, got the base hit, exactly what the Panthers needed. Yep. Now it's, it's, it's now the tying runs at first with nobody out, and Krieger to the plate. And the thing is, is this Pargis batting for Krieger now. That's right. Yep. Pargis will stand in here. So Pargis is the lone sophomore, and the team is going to step in there right now with an opportunity to keep things going here. Nobody out still. Yep. Squares to bunt, bunts it. Pitcher will have to come grab, throws to second, and they get the out. And that's another that's another example right there of bunting it too close to the pitcher. Yep. They're not getting it down the lines, not getting it far enough down the lines to make the pitcher have to come farther to make that play. He's getting the ball too quickly, and that's allowing him – to make those plays to your other bags. It, it was bunted to the right side, but not enough down the line no. or gave the opportunity for the it pitcher was, to field it. Yeah, it was bunted to the right side of the mound, yep. really. And now there's one out and a runner at first. It's a fielder's choice that goes 1-6. And there's a ball outside. I like the move to Blair. To get, for the bunt to get him moved over. It just didn't work out the way the Panthers wanted to. Blair with a runner at first now with one out. Throw over to first, not in time. But yeah, no, it's the right play. You try to move your tying run into scoring position, give yourself a couple of chances to drive him home. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and there's a strike called outside corner. A very delayed call from the home plate umpire. 
and it's one and one. Pitch on the way, swings and hits one. Back up the middle, second baseman plays it, flip it. They're not gonna fire it to first. It'll be a fielder's choice, four six for the put out. And the runner still at first base, now Blair with two away. Panthers being aggressive, they're swinging the bat. They've just been hitting it right to a couple players here. The bunt right back to the pitcher and that ground ball right to the second baseman to get the easy flip over to second base for the force out. This is Newton, he struck out and had an RBI single. Courtesy runner for the catcher, number three I think for the Panthers. That's, uh, mm, I don't think we've called his name yet. J.J. Gonzalez running now for the catcher. Now batting number 14, Michael Newton. Newton to the plate here, one for two. He's driven in a run. Pitch on the way, swings and fouls it, back out of play behind us and it's nothing in one. Kids scrambling for the ball in yeah. the stands. I don't think they're gonna give him a snow cone. They can try. I don't think they'll give him a souvenir either. <laughs> All the balls here gotta go back to the field. Yeah, they do. Throw over to first, not in time. Pushes Gonzalez back to the bag. See if that runner tries to swipe second here and get himself in scoring position. Pitch on the way is high, a ball, one and one. And one. Ready for the one, one. Pitch on the way. Curveball swung on and fouled back, and Newton got a pitch to hit there. He yeah, just fouled he it off. That was a breaking ball that hung up in the zone. He jumped all over it. He just got underneath it a little bit and fouled it straight back. One and two. Reina comes set. One, two. Swings and pops it up. Foul back out of play. It's going to get to the screen. And that was a, excuse me, swing there. I think that was more of a defensive yeah. swing by Newton as that ball was coming up and in with a fastball. Yeah, he swung at ball three. Well, and I think it was just a defensive swing to kind of get himself out of the way. And look, fortunately, yeah. he got a piece of it. Yeah, you're right. He was ducking and swinging. Ready for the one, two. One, two on the way. Swings and pops it up. That's going to get foul. That wind's going to push it back. Yeah, it does. It pushes it back at the to the dugout, and it does drop foul, one and two. Yeah, just about any other night, that would have been out yeah, of play. That hit a wall up there. You yeah. could just see it stop. Oh, I tell you what, these stands are stopping a lot yeah. of the wind, for at least for you and I. Yeah, no, you can see the flag out there in center. It's howling out to left now. You can see a lot of dust flying through yeah. the air over there, through the lights. It's definitely make it, making it nippy right now. Someone get one up in the air to left field, it could pay off. You know, and that's one thing the Panthers haven't done. I don't think, no, I may be wrong, but I don't think they've hit a home run yet. This year? Yeah. They've gotten close, but I don't think they have. I know Marty has hit a couple of deep balls, but I don't. You know, they haven't gone over, unless it happened recently. They're trying to get the lights turned yeah. off in right center now. It's okay when turn them off when we're the up there. The right bat. fielder needs to go tell them to turn them off. Yeah. They're waiting for them. It's okay. it's okay when we're up to bat. Go tell them to turn off. But when we're not batting, we need to leave those lights on. <laughs> there we go. Ready for the one-two as Newton climbs back up in there and the lights are off and right. We're ready to go. Throw over to first. Not in time. Just got under it. Yeah, they thought they had him, but Gonzalez just got back. Well, it's... It, he threw it in there low, which was a good throw, but I thought it was going to get away again. A lot of dust came up. It was just the mid, mid hitting the ground. Ready for the one-two. Pitch on the way. Runner goes. 
Pitches in the dirt outside, and Gonzalez sw swipes second easily because that curveball in the dirt. Yeah. Picked a good one to go on. Absolutely. And it's two and two. Now, what's good to steal on, on two strike counts, especially when you're behind in the count, because you're going to throw something off speed. It's a little bit slower, so it gives that fraction of a second in your advantage to get to the base quicker. Well, that's a big swipe bag because now a, a base hit ties you the ball game. Absolutely. 2-2 two, two on the way. High, 3-2. and two. Huge, huge take by Newton there. That high fastball we've been swinging at all night. Ready for the payoff. Reyna stares in. Now he looks the runner back to second. Yeah, let him throw another one in the yeah, outfield. He's thrown about 90 pitches now in the ball game as Reyna stares in. Ready for a 3-2 to Newton. He's throwing about 20 pitches to the bases. And he spins and looks the runner back to second. That runner's not going to hurt you with a 3-2 count. No, what he's worried about is trying to keep him close so I know. he can't score on a base I hit. But, I mean. This is, a big, this is a big pitch right here. I would be focused on the batter. Ready for the 3-2. Spins, throws to second. Tried to swipe that tag down, didn't get him. He almost threw the ball into center. That's as that exactly was to the right. second base side of the bat. Yes, it was. Take another step. <laughs> Waiting on the 3 2. Pitch on the way. Swings and lines. One into left field, a base hit. That's going to get down. It gets, gets past away. the left fielder. The ball game's tied. To second base goes Newton. And he's going to cruise in there, and that's going to be a single and an error on the left fielder, an RBI for Newton, and it's 4-4 four to four here in the bottom of the fifth. A huge hit by Michael Newton to get it out there in the outfield to score the run and got under the glove of the left fielder and rolled all the way to the fence. Center field had to come cover a lot of ground to get to that ball to throw it in, so Michael Newton ends up on second base. Hey, and give him credit because they got to that ball in a hurry out at the wall, the center fielder he got over been, there yeah. booked it because Newton could have been at he third base. He could have been at third base, exactly right. And now they're going to go out and talk here. There's a little powwow on the mound. So I'm telling you, Jared, you t take the focus away from the yeah. pitcher by making him throw, and he's going to serve you one up. Yeah. And exactly, that ball is right down the middle. No, he's too worried about the runner. He has been all night. Yeah. We've been talking about that as the game goes on, and eventually in a pressure situation is when it's going to hurt and you I the most. And I just said did. he needs to worry about making this pitch, not the runner, and he kept throwing back to second. Well, earlier in the ball game, he was worried about Ramirez at, at second base, and he almost served up a, a home run to Blair. Yeah. He got very fortunate that didn't leave the yard because Blair put a charge into it on a pitch that he left down the middle because he was looking at second base five times. Looks like we got a pitching change, Jared. Yep. Let's see if we can get a number. 11. It looks like 11. So 11 is the um – the second base nope, and nope, nope, that's number 10, I believe. Is it 10? I think so, if I could see his back. Well, he wasn't on the field. Or he was on the field. I think it was just a switch over. It's 11. The second base, base and Marcus Estrada looks like he's going to come out to pitch. And it's probably going to be a swap because no one came off the field. No, it's 18 or oh. oh, something like that. I can't. Well, you wait till he turns around. That's the only way we're going to see. They've got small, little bitty, little numbers. bitty numbers on the chest, but they're tiny. It might be the left fielder, Alex Roman. I can't tell. And I just got new glasses, too. <laughs> Need to be like Maury and get the binoculars out well, here. Well, my eyes are good, but, I mean, it's hard to tell because it's, it's bunched up there. Yeah, they're bunched chest. up and they're like three-inch three numbers on the front. It's either 10 or 18. Yeah, so we don't have a 10 out in the field, so the 18 is the left fielder, Alex Roman. Yeah, he didn't come from the bench, did he? No, he no, came no. from right I don't field. think they make any changes yeah. from the bench, so I think it's a straight swap. Not sure where Reyna ended up. We'll figure that out. The Panthers with a big chance here now. They've tied up this ball game. They put up two runs. After South Sand put up two in the top half of the inning, the Panthers answer back here, still batting. They got a runner at second with two away, and Ryan Marty will be stepping to the plate next. Yeah, this inning so far, Stevens, Ramirez, 
and Newton with huge base hits. It is 18. So it is Alex Roman who comes on to pitch. And he'll inherit a runner at second with two away. His team tied in a 4-4 game. The go-ahead run standing at second, and Marty stands in. Roman, right-handed pitcher. Marty's 0 for 2. He's reached on an error, and he's bounced into a fielder's choice. And the right-hand batter will dig in against the right-hand pitcher. Pitch on the way. Swings and flares one to first, or the pitcher. Pitcher grabs it and throws to first for the out, and the side has been retired. So Ro Roman comes in, one pitch, one out. Gets out of the inning, but the Panthers put up a pair to tie the ball game at four. They get two runs on three hits, and they leave one on base. And so we will go to the sixth inning, tied at four. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in a moment. Big State Electric is raising the bar in the San Antonio electrical industry. Working with local and forward-thinking companies, we are changing the downtown skyline with beautiful and innovative buildings. As well as working with local universities, we are revolutionizing academic sports with cutting-edge and high-tech electrical solutions. Join us as we light up the future one project at a time. Big State Electric, competence and quality since 1966. Supporting San Antonio, Austin, Houston, and the Gulf Coast region. Like you, we love calling this home. Cash Groveville State Bank has been serving the Medina Valley area for over 63 years by providing the best financial products, modern technology, and customer service. Not only are we the local bank you can rely on for all your financial needs, but we are also your neighbors giving back to the community we grew up in and love. Come home to Casgroveville State Bank. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the sixth inning. Tied at four. This game's been back and forth the entire game. The Panthers have never led. They've trailed two to nothing. They've trailed two to one. They've tied it at two. They've trailed four to two, and they just tied it back up at four. And Newton will stay on the pitch. He'll face the 8-9-1 hitters here in the sixth. It's been a great game so far. Like you said, back and forth. Basel Dua, Roman, and then Garcia do up. Left-hand batter against Newton, the right-hand pitcher. Newton came in, got one out in that last inning to end the inning. And his first pitch is a breaking ball in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. So far, the Bobcats getting their runs by small ball, and the Panthers have been hitting the ball. A lot of singles. Ready for the 1-0. Newton kicks and delivers. There's a swing and a foul back to the screen, one and one. Panthers have been out, hit eight to seven, but tied on the scoreboard, 4-4. Four, four. Both teams have been putting the ball in play tonight. Ready for the 1-1, one, one. here it comes. Down and in, and it hit him. Hit him in the foot. Yeah, it got him in the foot. That's gonna put a runner on. First hit batsman by either side tonight. And the leadoff batter aboard here in the sixth inning. And the hit by pitch is sponsored by Hazel Ruff Russell State Farm Agent in Casterville. Sponsoring all our hit by pitches. Yeah, and the last thing you want to do, Jared, is you have your leadoff batter get on base by hit by pitch. Well, that'll bring up Alex Roman, who's flown out to right and grounded out back to the pitcher. How about a comebacker here? You can get you a little 1-6-3 double play to clean well, up the inning. I see a, a, a bunt coming on right here. I do, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's this, this is obviously a bunting situation. You have your number nine batter up to the plate. You got a runner on, nobody out, and you get a 4-4 game. I think you have, you almost have to bunt here. Yeah, no, I, I 
I think they're going to be. Panthers defending it, third base and playing in the grass. Especially when you got the top of the order waiting on deck. Squares to bunt. Bunts it up the third base line and foul, and it'll be 0-1. And, and a great move by Jaden Krieger to throw a curveball in a bunting situation. Very tough to hit. I mean, Newton. I mean, Newton. <laughs> He's going to try it again, I'm sure. I wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't doubt he throws another well, curveball. There's two things you do here. You either throw the curveball or you throw a fastball up around the letters yep. and make it yep. bunt one high. See if you can get him to pop one up. A lot of strategy going on tonight. Ready for the 0-1. Newton will check on the runner at first. Set at the letters. Pitch on the way. Squares to bunt. Bunts it foul. Tried that fastball, he couldn't get it down. It's nothing in two now. Yep. So Newton's got right the batter right where he needs to be. 0-2 count, tried to bunt twice, couldn't get it down. Now he can lay something off the plate. So Keep him from hitting the ball. Chase. Yeah. 0-2. High fastball. Kicks and brings it. Curve ball, thought about it, didn't go. Oh, wow. One and two. That was a sharp breaking yeah, curve was. ball. I thought he check swung that, but I can't see because the umpire's in the way from this angle here. Well, and they didn't ask for the appeal. I think he started, but I don't think he went nearly close enough. Again, you got to get this number nine batter out. Swing and a miss. He blew a fastball by him on the outside Good corner. Pitch. And there's one away. First strike out by Newton in the ball game. And the runner still at first with one out. It'll bring up Ernest Garcia. Garcia's one for three. Popped out, grounded out, and singled. And you needed to get that out. I mean, again, that's that's a number nine batter. Now you got the top of the order and you still only have one runner on. And he's at first. Right hand batter. Steps out on Newton. Third baseman Stevens playing on the infield grass. Look for a hit and run or steal here. That just need to be ready. Squares to bunt. Bunch through it. Throw behind the runner at first. Not in time. Ooh. Just got back up in there. Outstanding throw by Blair there to throw, and he threw it right at the bag, but he just got his hand in there in time. Well, and how about Garcia? He, he bunted it right through that pitch. He did. It was another curveball again, though, yeah, I believe. Yeah, he waved at it and missed. It's 0-1. I was not expecting a curveball there. I thought they were going to try to steal with the leadoff batter up. Newton set. They squared a bunt again. Throws it at him, and he bunts it back to the pitcher. Newton from the seat of his pants throws him out at first. The sacrifice is good. It goes 1-3 for the putout. Newton fell down when he fielded it, and he, he threw sure it did. literally sitting down, threw it to first. Made a good throw over to first yep. base. Stevens was standing almost in the batter, in the circle there. Yeah, well, and, and how about Newton? I mean, he squared to bunt very oh, yeah. long before he needed to, showing bunt, and I mean, Newton had a punt. Newton threw it at him. I yeah. mean, he threw it at him, and he made him bunt it down. Stevens had a, had a, a chance to make that play over at first yeah. base, on the first base side of the, of the mound. He was coming in so fast. There's a swing and a bouncer. Come back her to the mound. Newton throws him out, and the side's retired. So they get no runs. A hit by pitch, and they work Huge around inning. it. Huge defensive inning, Jared. And they leave one at second. So we'll go to the bottom of the six, still tied at four. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in a moment. Dotson House Moving and Construction is a fourth generation company operated by the same family for over 75 years. We do turnkey work from moving your structure, setting the foundation, and all your construction needs. Aluminum decking, concrete work, canopies, and any other need to make your project operational. From moving to construction, large or small, Dotson House Moving and Construction does it all. Located at 12 939 Southwest Loop 410 in San Antonio. Give us a call at 210 628 1459. 
right now at Chevrolet's three-time dealer of the year, North Park Chevrolet. Get $15,000 off MSRP and 1.9% financing on new Silverado 1500 trucks, plus $2,250 in trade assistance cash, and $7,000 off MSRP on new Blazers. Lease a new Equinox for $299 with zero down or buy for $23,999. Get 2.1% financing on all new Traverses. Find new roads at North Park Chevrolet. 10 minutes outside Loop 410 in Castroville or at npchevy.com. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Panthers and the Bobcats tied at four. And the Panthers are going to have, it'll be the eight, nine, and one spots. And the Panthers are going to have a pinch hitter come up here. Number eight for Medina Valley He's going to step in, a left-hand hitter. That's Colton Pargis. Yep. He's the only lefty on the team, at least batting-wise. Vargas had an opportunity last game to come a step up to the plate. Do it again tonight. Try to get something going here. Colton, the old little brother to Logan, who's playing shortstop for the Panthers. I'd, get, I'd give them right back some of their medicine as a lefty. I'd drag bun him, send him down the first base. See what they can do. Good opportunity for the Panthers to get somebody on. The only left-hander on the on the squad, at least right as of right right now, that's been in the game, so he can have an opportunity to get on base. I'd be looking down to third base, see if he's playing back, and if he gives you a pitch to lay down, lay down and try to get down to first base. Typically, left-handers get a green. If you got decent speed, coaches usually give you a green light when there's nobody on or, and there's not many outs to try to get on base on your own. See what he does here. Of course, the base hit wouldn't hurt at all either. First pitch to Pargis is outside a ball. I just swallowed a gnat or something. I saw that. You don't have to eat dinner tonight. No. It got stuck in the back of my throat. <laughs> Ready for the 1-0. Pitch to the left-hander, and that's on the outside corner for a called strike. It's one and one. Roman came in, threw one pitch, and got one out in that last inning. 1-1 one, one on the way. Started after it. Laid off in time, 2-1. Yeah. Check swing, got it back in time. So what you were saying earlier, so Pargis has a brother that's on the varsity that's playing the shortstop yeah. position, right? Okay. sophomore, senior. When you said Pargis earlier, I was like, I thought he was a lefty. Yeah. <laughs> There's a swing and a foul straight back. And it's 2-2. Two and two. If we get an opportunity here to see what he's got for a breaking pitch. Two balls and two strikes. Pitch on the way. Called strike three. Curveball broke across the plate. Had him guessing, watched it. First strike out by Roman in the ball game and there's one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Rips. That'll bring up Gavin Rips. He's bounced into a fielder's choice and flown out to left. He's 0 for 2. Nobody on one down here in the bottom of the sixth inning as Rips, the right-hander, stands in to face Roman. Squares to bunt, takes a strike, 0 and 1. Hesitant on the bunt, hit the outside corner, got the strike called on him. Good opportunity to lay that bunt down the first baseline on that outside pitch. 0-1 on the way. Swings and hits one on the ground to second. Second baseman up with it, throws to first for the out, and there's two away. And we'll turn it over to the top of the order to be Dusty Davis. Davis is lined out and struck out twice. He's 0 for 3. That's going to be J.J. Gonzalez that's yep. going to step to the plate for it Dusty is. Davis. Yep. In the bat for the Panthers, number 3, J.J. Gonzalez, who was a big part of the team the last couple of years. He's been a starter, plays in middle infield most of the time. Davis 0 for 3 tonight. It's a good opportunity to Gonzalez to step in, try to make things happen. And then you got a hot Wesley Stevens on the on-deck circle. Yep. Followed by even hotter Ramirez. Pitch on the way. 
takes a strike outside corner, nothing in one. Into the windup, the 0-1 on the way. Down low, ball and one ball, one strike. There's a strike called. And it's one and two. Curveball not much different when Reyna was pitching. It's got a sharp breakdown. Gonzalez with that wide open exaggerated stance. Waves that bat around. Here's the one, two. Down and out, two balls and two strikes. Roman stares in, ready, here's the 2-2. Two -two. Outside with a curveball, three and two. And you know, that's been a pitch that's been called a couple of times yep. tonight, and it's kind of, you hold your breath. That's not exactly what I was gonna say, exactly what I was doing, was holding my breath to see what he's gonna call on that. Because it was in that spot just off the plate that he has been calling. Ready for the 3-2. Kicks and delivers. Down low and he walked him. Good at bat by Gonzalez to get on base. First free pass issued by Roman. It's third issued by Bobcat pitching in the ball game, and it'll bring up Wesley Stevens. Stevens is two for three. He's doubled twice, and he's popped out to second. Gonzalez with some speed. He did swipe a bag earlier as a courtesy runner. I just got cold, Jared. <laughs> Or colder. Yep. That wind is really whipping right now. Right hand batter against the right hand pitcher. Strike called right at the knees, nothing in one. Good pitch by Roman to start the at bat. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if they, how much attention he pays to. Well, then here comes Coach Herb. Yeah, I don't know what. Wants to say something to the umpire, I think. I don't know. He's asking him something. Don't know what that was about. No. Ready for the 0-1. Gonzalez getting a decent lead over at first base. Pitch on the way, and that's down and out. It gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Gonzalez to go to second. So now a base hit can get you the lead here. <clears throat> a ball and a strike. To Stevens. Yeah, and Stevens needs to wait for something to hit here. He's two for three in the ball game. Right man in the right spot, Jared. Is that what they say? Yep. One ball, one strike. Stevens stares at stares out at Roman, Roman, and he fouls that one out of play. One and two. So Stevens behind in the count now. One ball, two strikes as he digs back in. Same count as earlier when he had the strikeout. Let's see if he tries to throw the curveball here again too. Roman comes set at the belt. Steps off. Catcher was sitting up outside. Looks the runner back. It's anybody's game right here. Waiting on the one, two. Kicks and delivers, that's outside, two balls and two strikes. He set up outside on the outside corner but threw it even further outside than what he wanted so didn't get the call. And a good take there by Stevens. Roman set. Spins, throws to second. Did they get him? He did. Picked him off. Mm. They caught Gonzalez leaning that time. They almost picked him off at first earlier in the ball game. They got him now at second. That was and huge. And that will end the inning. The only good thing about that is, is that Stevens will lead off with a fresh count starting the bottom of the seventh. Unfortunately, he took the bat out of his hands there as you had the go-ahead run at second. A base hit would have tied it up. But we'll go to the seventh inning, tied at four. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue 
in a moment. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. Have you ever made a friend by accident? I know I have. This is Alec with Lone Star Towing of Natalia, and I just want to let y'all know that I pay top dollar for your junk, wrecked, and abandoned vehicles. I can even come to your location and tow it out of there at no extra charge. Give me a call at 210-777-0585, and I'll be sure to get you taken care of quickly. And here we go to the top of the seventh. Welcome back to Panther Baseball, brought to you by Dodson House Moving and Construction in North Park Chevrolet. We're going to go to the seventh inning, tied at four to four. Bobcats will send to the plate. The second baseman in 11, Marcus Estrada. Estrada has walked twice and reached on an error on a bunt when they had all those bunts the last inning. So he's back up to the plate again. Newton will be back on the mound for the Panthers. First pitch to Estrada. It's going to be from the windup. Swung on a foul straight back. Estrada will step back in. Newton getting signals from his catcher. Time is called. Newton steps back out. And we'll do it all over again. Estrada digs back in. Newton from the windup. Pitch is going to be outside for ball two. That'll even the count at one and one. So the count's even, one and one, for the leadoff batter for the Bobcats. Next pitch to Estrada is on the way. Curveball that just stays high, does not drop down to get the strike. So to count will go to two balls, one strike. Estrada without an official at bat in the ball game. Two walks and a sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two one on the way. That's lined right at the second baseman for the out. Davis right there to make the play, and there's one away. Hit it hard, but right at him. Yeah, he scored the ball up, just hit it right to Davis. He didn't have to move one way or the other. Other than me, I've been moving out of the way. <laughs> now we'll bring up their lefty. Yeah, this is going to be Josiah Karaman. One for three, single flown out and grounded out. And he takes a ball outside, 1-0. and oh. Newton with a 1-0 count on Karaman. Nobody on one out, top of the seventh, tied at four. There's a swing and a bouncer. Newton can't quite get there. That's actually Pargis who couldn't quite get there as that goes into the hole for a base hit. Pargis moving hard towards the third base side. He just gets under his glove when he tries to outstretch her to try to get it, but just enough to get under his glove and roll out to left field for the base hit. Well, and a good job by Karaman to go the other way with that pitch. It was on the outside half. He just took what the pitcher gave Absolutely, him. Jared. Took the outside pitch the other way. If we bring up Matthew Reyna, who's been their hottest bat. He's three for three, driven in a pair. He's doubled, singled twice. He's got a runner at first, and he swings and misses at a high fastball, nothing in one. 
Runner at first with one away here in the seventh inning. Oh, one on the way. Called strike outside corner at the knees. A good pitch by Newton. And he's got Reyna in a hole, nothing in two. That was one of those unhittable pitches, even if he did swing at it. Low and outside, right at the knees. Those are the kind you want him to drive into the dirt and get a double play out of. Newton comes set. 0-2 oh, on the way. Swing and a miss. He blew him away with a high heater. Second strikeout for Newton, and there's two outs here in the top of the seventh. Good pitch, challenged him with a high fastball. Got the best of him. That'll bring up Marcus Kila. Next up, number one, Marcus Kila. Panthers going to try to get out of this inning and leave that runner on first base. Kila's one for three. Struck out, grounded out, and singled. Runner at first, two down. Pitch on the way. Outside with a curveball, it's 1-0. The softball team's already back from their away game. Well, they start a half an hour earlier than us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're about a half an hour. No, we're going to get a few more minutes. We're in the seventh. Well, that's assuming Medina Valley will score. Well, the there you go. Half. Well, we're assuming that, Jared. <laughs> we, we're might, sure. we might get some free ball here tonight. There's a swing and a miss on a fastball in the outside half. But what we're hoping for is that Newton gets out of this here and the Panthers can come up and walk it off in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, and Stevens will come right back up to the plate again. With a fresh count to yep. work with. Ready for the 1-1. One, one. Pitch on the way, that's low in the dirt, two and one. Couldn't get him to chase it. Newton set. Two and one. Pitch on the way. Curve ball. That's a called strike. Pretty pitch there by Newton, and it's two and two. You know, Jared, you said the softball team was back. Big, big soccer matches tonight. Yes. I know the girls were ahead 2 nothing at halftime, and I know the boys were tied at one in the second half, and I don't know how it ended up. There's a swing and a foul ball down the right side, and we'll do it again at two and two. The girls are taking on Edison, and the boys were taking on um, MacArthur. Already Southwest and uh, Jefferson played last night. Southwest beat Jefferson eight to one, and the girls' side, Southwest beat Jefferson seven to zero. So both Southwest teams have already advanced. The rest of the district playing tonight. Ready for the two two. Ooh. Oh, just missed. Where was that pitch? A good looking curveball, just apparently outside. Ready for the payoff now. Big pitch right here. Newton comes set at the belt. Pitch on the way, runner goes. There's a swing and a line drive to right center. That's going to drop for a base hit. Ramirez up with it. Throws into third, not going to be in time. Throw to second, not in time. So it's a single. They get to second on the throw. There's runners at second and third with two away. Doesn't hurt you if you get an out here. Right. Looks like they're going to have a pinch batter. Pinch hitter is going to be number 30, 25. 25. Looks like M. Solano. Solano going to come up to bat. Right-handed batter going to come in and try to help out the Bobcats. So, update on the soccer. The girls won five to nothing. The boys apparently lost in penalty kicks four to three. Wow. Tough way to go down. Oh, yeah. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Solano nothing swung anymore. right through it. Runners at second and third. Here comes the 0-1. Swings Ooh. and fouls that one off, and it's 
Newton is, needs to challenge him here and needs to rear yeah. back and throw. What you don't want to do is spike one in the dirt and throw it to the backstop and no. let that run score. You got to try to blow a fastball past him right here. Ready for the 0-2. Into the windup. Pitch on the way. High fastball, but it's way high yeah. and it's one and two. A little bit lower, he may have had a chance there, him swinging at it, but it was up above his eyes. Now you want to try to maybe take a chance to throw in a breaking pitch here. Ready for the 0-1, or 1-2 rather. Newton into the windup with a runner at third. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Swings and fouls it back to the screen and will do it again at 1-2. and two. Took a cut at a high fastball. Yeah, he stuck with the fastball there. That's the placement he needed last pitch. Newton kicks and brings it in the dirt. Good smother by Blair to keep that in front of him, and it's two and two. Outstanding job by the catcher to stop that ball and keep the run from scoring. He went with the curveball, but threw it into the dirt, just like you said he didn't need to be, you know, not to do. That's when it helps to have a catcher back there. Absolutely. That can do that. Knock it down. Keep Become it a close. wall. Become a wall. Here comes the 2-2 from Newton. Called strike three at the knees. He punched him out, and they leave the go-ahead run stranded at third. That was huge. And we will go to the bottom of the seventh, still tied at four for the Panthers. It'll be the two, three, four hitters due up, part of the lineup. And we will be back in a moment. You're listening to Panther Baseball, and we'll continue in just a moment. Are you ready for a vacation? Tanya with Travel by Design can help you with all your vacation destination needs. At no cost to you, she can plan all of the details tailored to your unique wants and needs. So all you have to do is enjoy your vacation. Tanya is a certified expert with Disney Universal Orlando and California, Sandals, and all cruise lines. Give Tanya a call at 830-931-4834 or visit her Facebook page, Tanya with Travel by Design, for all the latest specials and must-do vacations. Dotson House Moving and Construction is a fourth generation company operated by the same family for over 75 years. We do turnkey work from moving your structure, setting the foundation, and all your construction needs. Aluminum decking, concrete work, canopies, and any other need to make your project operational. From moving to construction, large or small, Dotson House Moving and Construction does it all. We're back here for the bottom of the seventh, a 4-4 ball game. It'll be Stevens, Ramirez, and then Pargis due up here in the inning. I got so excited here with a tie game going to the bottom of the seventh that I cut off Dodson House Moving's commercial. Thanks to Dodson House Moving and North Park Chevrolet for being the big sponsors here for Panther Baseball. <laughs> Had to make up for it, Jared. Roman out there to work. Stevens was batting when Gonzalez got picked off a second to end the sixth inning, so he'll start with a fresh count here. Kind of helps. He's seen Roman yeah. once in the ball yep. game. Pitch on the way is a curveball that's hit foul up the third base line. That's what you want to see. You know, like to see being aggressive. It was a curveball. It was a strike. I don't typically yep. want to swing at a curveball in the first pitch, but that was going to be a call strike. Being aggressive. Try to get something going here, especially if you're swinging a hot bat. One thing, if you're sitting on it, ready for the 0-1. Pitch on the way. Curveball stays high and away, one and one. He fought to stay to yeah. not swing there, and he yeah. held back enough not to get the check swing called on him. Well, and you need to get this leadoff man aboard. Absolutely. You got to scratch a run here. Ready for the 1-1. Here it comes. Outside corner called strike, one and two. Kind of a borderline pitch, but that's been given tonight. Yep. It's a, you know, now, now you got to be ready for yeah. it to come back again on that outside. Ready for the one, two. Setting up outside, you got to be aggressive. High curve ball, two and two. Curve ball stayed high, not much break to it there. Good take by Stevens. He's going to come back with a fastball and try to put it in the outside corner here. He's got to be ready for it. 
Two balls and two strikes. Into the windup, 2-2 two -two on the way. Swung it, a high fastball and fouled it back to stay alive, it's still two and two. That was that fastball in the outside corner. He was expecting it, took a rip out it, just got underneath it. I think that was ball three. He yeah, swung he was, it a high one, he but did. He, he did get a piece of it he to did. stay alive. But with two strikes, he needs to be swinging that yeah, bat. That's the main thing, is stay alive. Yeah. Get a piece of it. 2-2 two -two on the way. High curve ball, and the counts run full. He's lost the break on that curve ball. They've all been hanging high. Ready for the payoff to Stevens, leading off here in the bottom of the seventh. Stevens needs to be ready. He's going to stick, stick to the fastball here. Into the windup. The payoff on the way. Swings and lines one into left field for a base hit. Third baseman made a jump at it, but he couldn't stab it. Third hit of the ball game for Stevens, and the leadoff man is aboard. Winning run at first with nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. About two inches above the glove, a jump in third baseman to get the base hit. And like you say, leadoff batter is on. Exactly what you need. I see a bunt here. You got to get this run across. Yeah. Well, Ramirez in the ball game's two for two. He yep. singled, walked, and singled. It's also driven in a run. Yep. We'll see what they do here. You might try to see if they could steal Stevens before you lay the yeah, bunt he, down. Yeah, he definitely gave a single, so let's it's, see what it's going to call this. It's hard to take the bat out of a hot hitter's oh, hand. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But you just need a run. Situation calls for a bunt, and he fouled that one off to make it 0-1. I don't think he planned on swinging at that no, bat. No, it just was a check swing foul. Let's see what they do here. You wonder if Stevens is going to try maybe a hit and run, something like that. Coach Herb giving a sign, or throwing out, barking out some numbers there. They do, they work off numbers instead of signs now. Good lead by Stevens, not too big. Ready for the 0-1. Roman's pitch on the way, squares to bunt, and it gets past the catcher. They get what they wanted. And it's going to get Stevens to second base with nobody out. And the winning run at yep. second scoring position. Panthers got what they wanted and still gets to keep their hot batter at the plate. Wild pitch that time by Roman. Yes. And it's one ball, one strike to Ramirez. And now you got you got a couple of things that can happen here. If you poke one to the right side of the infield, a ground out, something like that can move the runner. Absolutely. Third. You don't have to just lay down a sacrifice. You can try to poke one through that right side. But if you're Ramirez, uh, you a ground out to the left side of the infield is not what you want here. You want to you want something to go to that right side. You need to move the runner over to third base. With a hot bat, you just may want him to swing away. Unless he wants to rope one out to left. <laughs> we can deal with that. Or center. I'll take either one or right. 1-1 one, one on the way. Oh, a strike through there, and it's 2-2. Two and two. He called a ball. He did? You, usually he doesn't make any noise at a ball, but he went, oh. Yeah. I think okay. that, that was a tough pitch yeah. to your, that pitcher because that was one. right at the knees. Wow. I thought he called that a strike. It sounded it? like it, but he said ball, I think. 2-1. You got the count in your favor here. Kicks and brings it. Outside, three balls and a strike. That was a tough pitch to throw a 2-1 curveball when you got a runner on second. And your curveball has not been working. Three balls and a strike. Sit on fastball here. Pitch on the way. Hit him. Nope. He walked him nonetheless. Either way. Came inside. And so there's going to be runners at first and second now with nobody out. First free pass issued by, second free pass issued by Roman. And it'll bring up Logan Pargus. Ramirez has been on base every time up to yep. bat. Yeah, he's two for two with two walks and an RBI. So Pargus will step to the plate here while the Bobcats call timeout and work on their defensive strategy. They're going to have to. A base hit can, a base hit wins you the ball game, most likely. Um, unless it's just roped right at, a, right at one of the fielders and they can't score the runner from second. But the... 
The only thing you can't do here is hit and do a double play. I think you that, bunt here. Yeah. Number four, Logan Hargis. I mean, you have options, but I think you bunt here. There's nobody out. Well, yeah, and then you get that runner to third with less than one out. A sack yeah. fly scores him. A pass ball scores him. Yep. You got to get that runner over to third. You almost, you almost want to take a pitch here and give him a chance to spike one in the dirt. Checks that runner at second. Long check, again and again. Pitch on the way. Oh, he dealt a strike right through there, and it's 0 and 1. Now they got to now. He made him take that pitch. Now he's giving him a sign. Yep. Now we're going to hand gesture signs versus the barking the numbers more out. Traditional signs. Yeah, there you go. I see if he scores around here. Ready for the 0 1. Checking that runner. Way too much attention on the runner. He put a, a, a and good job I by. I was gonna say Pargis good time out by Pargis. But as a pitcher, when you're doing that, you're gonna balk, and you're gonna balk runners to second, third with nobody out. I know you want to keep him close to the bag, but you've got to work on that batter. Yep. Got to work on the runner on the batter, especially if it's a sub that's coming in. Coming in. That's a balk. He's gonna balk. He's moving. Pitch on the way. Comes inside. Did he swing? They say he did swing, and it's 0-2. He kind of moved that. He brought that bat down through the zone as he tried to twist away from that ball coming inside. Kind of want that ball to hit you yeah. there, right? Yeah. He's got an opportunity to make it for it up right here. And every single time he stands there and stares at that runner back there at second five times like that, you got to ask for time. And if the home plate umpire is going to grant it to you, it's going to make them stop doing that. There he goes again. One, two. Pitch on the way. Called strike three on a breaking ball that looked low, and there's one away. It's a tough take there. Yeah. That's a tough call, too. That'll bring up Blair. Blair's 0 for 3. He's flown out, struck out, and bounced into a fielder's choice. You're still in good shape. You only have one out. You got a run in scoring position. Yeah, no, you got two Bait. more opportunities yeah. to get your run home here, at least. Base hit wins the game for you. They're sitting in the bottom of the seventh. You just stay focused here and positive. Pitch on the way. Outside, ball one with a fastball. Panthers would have been better off with a bunt there. Ready for the 1-0. Pitch on the way. Outside, 2-0. Good take by Blair. That's that borderline outside pitch. Well, and now you got a 2-0 count. And he doesn't want to walk that no. winning run to third, so he's going to have to challenge you here at some yep. point. He's going to come with the fastball. His curveball has not been working. And try to throw that outside fastball again on the corner there. Ready for the 2-0, here it comes. Oh, he brought it back over the outside corner and it's two and one. Yeah, fastball right on the outside corner. A little two seam movement right at the end. He's gonna try it again. Two one count, you're still count still in your favor. You need to sit back, wait for something you can you can square up. Ready for the two one. You score setting up outside. Pitch on the way. Oh, oh he, my, what a curveball. He floated in a curveball unexpectedly. Uh, I mean, and he threw it right at him, and he gave up on it, what, and it broke right across the plate. A lot of confidence throwing that curveball, yeah. and it has not been working for you. Two balls and two strikes. Heck, he may throw it again here. Ready for the 2-2. Two -two. Here it comes. Swings and lines one into right. It's going to get down and go to right field. The runners had to hold up, so there's a stop sign at third. The second baseman made an outstanding effort to try to get to that ball. He made a diving effort. He couldn't get there. But because it was a fly ball like that, the runners had to hold up. Everybody's safe. The bases are loaded with one away, and it will bring up Michael Newton. They're going to check on the second baseman. He, he kind of got 
Well, I mean, he laid out he for did. it. He did. That was an outstanding I mean, effort he, he by the second his, baseman. Yeah, he gave up his body for that, and he laid out. He almost came up with the ball, too. Yeah. Great effort by the second baseman. you got to give him credit there. And how about this? Now Michael Newton with a chance to give himself a W in the yep, ball game. Yeah, right here. He came in in a 4-2 ball game, inherited a runner at second, got out of it. He's kept this game now 4-4 since his team tied it back up. And now he's got a chance here to give himself the W to be the winning pitcher. And, you know, Jared, that was a heads-up play by Ramirez. He's at first base. He, d he didn't get over zealous, zealous there and try to get the second base. Yeah. He waited for that ball to come down and see what it did. It, they would have gotten out of the inning there. It would have been a double play. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, it would have been out. So he, so he hung tight there and make sure that ball hit the ground before he took off. Otherwise, if he would have caught the ball, they would have doubled him up and they would have been inning over and we yeah. go to extra innings. Yep. But in the meantime, now we have bases loaded. With one away. And Newton sitting with two base hits so far tonight. So you got to force at any base. The middle infield's going to play double play depth. Middle infield playing at the edge of the grass. First baseman's actually up on the grass. And... Third base Roman's, moving up. Roman's going to work from the windup with the bases loaded. Now time asked for by the catcher. Huge at bat here for Newton. Now we're ready to go here as Newton digs in. He's two for three in the ball game. He's driven in two. And he takes an outside fastball for a strike, and it's nothing in one. A lot of opportunities. A walk, a walk wins you the game. A fly ball, the outfield wins you the game. Well, we'll take a hit by pitch right now by State Farm. <laughs> Pass ball, anything. 0-1, here it comes. Oh, a curveball, he swung and missed, and he's in a hole, nothing in two. He took a rip at that curveball. He's going to try to finish this game off with one pitch there. Newton's had a hot bat tonight. He struck out looking his first time up, but since then he's had two RBI singles. Ready for the 0-2, here it comes. Curveball's lined Good into drop. left field, and that's the ball game. Michael Newton walks it off. The run scores, and the Panthers win it 5-4 to, to stay undefeated wow. in district play, and they mob Newton behind the mound. And Newton gets the W in the ball game, helps his own cause, and wins the ball game for Medina Valley here in the bottom of the seventh inning. This was a great ball game to watch the Panthers Never led in this ball game until that moment when Newton lined that into left field, and he had three RBI singles in this ball game. Drove in three of the five runs, and he drives in the winning run to end it. Outstanding piece of hitting by Michael Newton there with two strikes. It was a full count, wasn't it? I don't remember what it no, was, it was, but it was it was one and two or zero oh and two. Yeah, he had two strikes on him just just to stay in there, would stay with the pitch and put it out there. Big comeback, and that's what we did not seen the Panthers do this year is come back from behind to win a game. They got in the situation. They didn't falter. They didn't They didn't give up. They stayed in there, and they came back, and they fought to the very last out. Yeah, come and, across with a win. Yeah, and 5-4 is your final. We're going to take a break and come back. We're going to take a totals. short break. Yeah, and we'll be back. You're listening to Panther Baseball, brought to you by North Park Chevrolet and by Dotson House Moving in Construction, and we'll continue in a moment. Right now at Chevrolet's three-time dealer of the year, North Park Chevrolet. Get 15000 off MSRP and 1.9% financing on new Silverado 1500 trucks, plus $2,250 in trade assistance cash, and 7000 off MSRP on new Blazers. Lease a new Equinox for $299 with zero down or buy for $23,999. Get 2.1% financing on all new Traverses. Find new roads at North Park Chevrolet. Ten minutes outside Loop 410 in Castroville or at NPChevy.com. Welcome back here to Gerald Kemp Field as the Panthers complete a comeback here in this ball game and they win it five to four is your final score. The Panthers would fall behind two to nothing in the first inning. They would cut that lead in half after one. They would end up tying up the ball game and then in the fifth inning, South San went ahead four to two and the Panthers would come right back in the bottom half. An RBI single by Michael Newton would tie up the ball game 
in that inning, and then Newton came in to pitch, pitched two and a third innings of shutout baseball to keep it a 4-4 ball game, and he came to the plate with the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh inning with two strikes. He got a curveball up, and he hammered it in the left field for a walk-off RBI single. He drove in three runs in the ball game, and Michael Newton is your player of the game. Absolutely. Brought to you by Tanya's travel by design. Absolutely. He is the player of the game. When you were going to have a good game tonight, based on how they played last time around, Bobcats came to play. They they played confidently. That little swagger coming in, they played a heck of a game. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. The Panthers got one more run than they did. Yeah, I mean, this was a good ball game. Krieger, Krieger was good tonight, but he didn't have his best stuff tonight. Uh, and it, right. give all credit to South Sand because they – they managed to frustrate him a little. They Very were, aggressive. They were aggressive. They were able to foul off a lot of pitches. They made him work hard to get out. And and they managed to score four runs off of him, which is something that, you know, not many not many teams have done against him this year. And um, great credit to Michael Newton coming in and getting, getting the win and keeping this ball game where it was. And, you know, the Panthers, like you said earlier, came back to win from behind, something we haven't really seen them do this year. Now, Jared. Now, and, and we talked earlier, games like this are very important down the road. Oh, absolutely. You, now you've been in a situation like this, you know you can do it. You know you can finish off a ball game like this because you're going to have games like this down the road in the playoffs. And you're it, being in an experience like this and, and getting through it is going to help you later yeah. on. And Panthers are going to move to 8-0. and oh. They're going to be perfect in district play starting out the second round with another W. They'll move to 16-3-2. And, and now they're going to come to that part of the schedule. It's a little bit easier based on the first schedule where they were blowing out teams with a 10-run rule. I mean, they, they can't. They can't take them lightly, though, but, but they can, they're can. they in a comfortable lead. I think they have a three-game lead now over the other teams as of right now. So we'll see how things play out. Next game is going to be Thursday, not Friday, because yep. it's a good Friday. It will be at Southwest, and we will try to broadcast that game. We're going to see if we can do it. Can't make any promises now, but we're going to try to broadcast that game Thursday from you live from Southwest. And a final score tonight, Medina Valley 5. South Sand four, winning pitcher tonight, Michael Newton. The loss goes to Alex Roman, who came in in relief, gave up that hit to Newton to end the ball game there in walk-off fashion, and a great job by the Panthers to get to see them swarm Newton behind the pitcher's mound there at Gerald Kemp Field with the walk-off. Always exciting game to watch like that on a cool night here at Medina Valley. In an 8 no district record now for the Panthers as they look to keep moving on. They keep chugging along here in district play. They've finished the first round. Second round started tonight, and they started it off the way they ended the first part of it with a, with a win. And so I'd like to thank the sponsors, as always, for making it possible to bring you these games here on the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Without you all, these games would not be possible. And for the Panthers, Final score tonight, the Panthers 5, the Bobcats 4. For Dwayne Garza and the Medina Valley Broadcast Network, I'm Jared Lucky saying good night, God bless, and we will see you next time when Panther baseball continues.